Hello, and welcome back to episode two of Battle Lords of the 23rd Century, the Battle of Classe. Did I, did I do it right? I was, it was close. You're good. You're good. A little, little bit. You know what? It's a different place. It's not even in France. It's not even in France. Yeah, so... Space Crissy. With the Space France <laughs> space accent. The Crissy. Crissy. Spacey. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's Battle of Spacey. Uh, we are the Encore Trust, and I will stop now with the French accent, although... It's we are from France. It's going to keep It's going to keep sliding, though. It's going to keep sliding. Uh, we are playing Battle Lords of the 23rd Century, which is a game that is very near and dear to my heart. We are playing the new edition of the game, which we are learning only slightly ahead of you. Even though I've been playing the game since first edition, this is now seventh edition, so a lot has changed. Uh, that about being, six editions worth. About six editions worth, yeah. So, that being said, while we are doing our best to accurately portray the rule set, we may make mistakes, we may come back in subsequent episodes and Your be like... Your fun is wrong! That is true. Literally, that's what I want you to take from this. Your fun is wrong. Not ours. Yours. No, that's, don't, the, that's, that's the opposite. That's no, terrible. don't, please, don't, don't listen to me at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. You're fun it's enough for the next three hours. We're listening. That is, that is true. So, uh, with that being said, first, let's do our character introductions here. So, who you are and who are you playing? Let's start. Surprise twist over here. Uh, I am playing Tark, who is an Aradani, uh, all focused on hitting people with big old not lightsaber. <laughs> Laser nice. story. Uh, I'm playing Thumper. Uh, Thumper is a weapon specialist and a highly mobile weapons platform. And? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes single father. And? <laughs> a fought. Adorable? A bunny. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm a fought. I'm a cyber fought now. Mm -hmm. And who are you who is adopting the guise of. Oh, Thumper. Alquin Gersh. Yep. The Alquin Gersh. Yeah, different uh, elves. Different elves. <clears throat> Hello, I am Melee Damage, and I will be playing Dr. Ace McSteamy. Uh, she is the medic and the sniper of the group, and an array and rogue. Uh, so uh, she's she's kind of a space flirt. Comes to the territory. So, yeah. and <clears throat> Aradani. <Right. laughs> uh, I am Ash Minnick, and, and I'm playing uh, Sketch who is the pilot, very, very good pilot, and a computer specialist, and has a history in bounty hunting that she doesn't remember, uh, but but surprisingly uncanny skills at gambling and interrogating, which she doesn't know why. Um, yeah, also an Orion, space elf, uh, just here to have a good time, really. That's, you know, fly some ships, shoot some people, have a good time. Make out a bit. It's, Maybe know. not all in that order, though. I mean, like, the order is... It's, you know, it's it, uh, it's at the same time, generally. <laughs> that is true. That is true. How it's do you see where you're going? Well, you feel it. Hi, I'm <laughs> Sam Deleb, and I'm playing Glitch, uh, the very flustered gen human in the group. Uh, I'm a prototype uh, whose mutation creates an electronic countermeasure field around me that sometimes... Fritz's things when I get fritzed. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Hi, Sketch. Hi. This is also uh, brought to you in support of Games for Love, which is a charity which is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, the official description of Games for Love is a kindness-oriented 501c3 nonprofit community of gamers for the purpose of easing the suffering of children in life-threatening conditions and contribute towards building a sustainable financial future for them. And you can donate at gamesforlove.org slash donate. Hopefully there is a link somewhere here-ish. In fact, if you uh, type in chat exclamation point love, that you'll get that link. What? That is my favorite command prompt. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That is true. You, you've been to your techno wizardry. Like, you've dressed the part and everything. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, and again, uh, this is episode two of Battle Lords, but I'm going to explain some of the things that have changed in between. But let me give you, in case this is your first time watching, uh, Battle Lords is a game set in a dangerous future. An alliance of humans and aliens is fighting for survival. The Aknarin, a.k.a. the Arachnids, have destroyed worlds and decimated populations 
regulations as they advance into Alliance territory. Against the backdrop of war, players can take the fight to the Aknarin, become explorers seeking new alien species for allies and technology, or participate in espionage to further their goals of their corporate backers. You also may notice that we're all using the digital versions of the game here because the hard copy as of this exact second has not been released yet. However, so fancy. you can get both the quick start rules and the actual game itself right now in Drive Through RPG. You want the Battle Lords of the 23rd Century Kickstarter Edition Core Rules. Make sure you pull down the Core Rules because there's some different versions of it. That is what we are playing with now. So, when last we met our intrepid heroes, you all, it was graduation day. You all had signed up for your first day with the SSDC Mercenary Corporation and were quite effective in catching some fugitives that had escaped into Greater Nexus. Now, many years have passed, and you all are actually nearing the end of your first tour. I won't go so far as to say this is your last mission, because you'd be guaranteed to all die horrifically. <laughs> but your, right. <laughs> your tour is almost up. You all have been many places and done many things. Uh, you have fought and bled and scraped together again and again and again, and now you have been called together again for yet another mission on the planet of Classe. It is uh, near the edge of Alliance Space. Uh, there is a compound there that was a, primarily an Orion settlement. That is why they adopted the French name, because they thought it would sound cool. Uh, but they have since... It does sound cool. It, I mean, it, it does sound cool. It does sound cool. Oh, so that's why you couldn't pronounce it anyway, because it's, it's Orion. It, it is Orion. That is true. It is Orion French, which is not at all French. French. It's better. It's better it's, than it, like it is double pinky French up once. French. Yeah, right. because Arrayans have seven fingers, by the way. On each hand, we have fourteen total, not just seven. Fourteen total. And fourteen um, toes. And also fourteen toes. In total. It's it's in total. In total. Tall. Yes. Sure. Uh the settlement there has since stopped communicating, which in these day and age usually means something terrible has happened. They're out, Ned. Let's <laughs> Almost go, up. Certainly. And you all have been dispatched to find out why. To either lend them necessary support and help get them back online, find out what happened to them, avenge them as necessary. Uh, your other fought compatriot, Haas, was deployed early as an advanced scout to go and find out what was going on there. And Haas has also stopped transmitting back information. Not much of a loss there. <laughs> hey, that's my bud. Well, you know. And the squad commander. Like I said, not much of a loss. Do you want to be in charge of everybody? Because I don't. I don't want you to be in charge of me. We need him to have to be in charge of everybody. Because it sucks. Well, and as a fought, he is the most qualified. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. You all have now found yourself on your UH-22 Ripley dropship. You were recently uh, deployed from not, one of the... Not on this at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Shout out to our homie. Hey, Ripley lives through everything, so it's not it's not all bad. Spoilers? It's, it's not all bad. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's been like 30 years. I haven't actually, seen it! Actually, it's been, actually, it's been like 40 years from the first one, so you don't know by now. Yeah. Um, the fact I, that Ripley was in multiple films <laughs> is a giveaway. I didn't know that either. Uh, Tone-wise, if you're not familiar yeah, with Bad Lords, I often describe it as Aliens meets the Fifth Element, which two people at this table that I will not just bust out have not seen Aliens. Um, well, we know one of them. Scary. <laughs> I don't like scary movies. Yeah, it's going to be worse when you live it. So, uh, that is very much the tone of this. And now you all are in your dropship, rapidly approaching oh. the orbit of this planet. Okay. You are just starting to enter the outer atmosphere and things are starting to get a little bit bumpy. Right. <clears throat> Express uh, you, elevator going down. down. Uh, yes, it's, you know, I'm piloting, so it's fine. Could we, could we smooth it out a little bit? I, no, I like it. <laughs> it's, everyone just back and we just got some turbulence. We'll get through it in a second. <laughs> You're used to the hopping, but the rest of us are not. I'm starting to get a little vertigo. Maybe I should get in my harness. <laughs> what What is causing the bumpiness? I was going to surf bumpiness? down, but... Uh, it is an incredibly thick atmosphere here. 
Uh, it should be breathable for for most of your species, uh, according mm. according to the readouts. Like you shouldn't get to the to the surface and have it like raining poison or overly methane or anything. But it is incredibly dense. Sorry. Is it um, is it primarily oxygen? It is primarily oxygen. I Just take, bring your helmet. I I. I Put my 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 uh, my mask on then. That is true. Eridani can uh, have difficulty breathing. That uh, it's the Fentari that need methane. Do Eridani need methane also? What? It, I don't think it's methane, no. but right. I, I cannot breathe primarily. Right. Fentari breathes farts. <laughs> the, it's you know they hate it when you say that though. Like it's it's not you know the the ram pythons get no <laughs> limit of like joy out of this particular joke. But no, it is a yeah it's a, it's a thing of some of some dispute. Uh, yes, it is the the density of the atmosphere is what is causing the chop. All right, um, I, it's just going to be a bit bumpy till we get to the planet. Just sit down. I'm sorry, it's not my normal smooth sailing, but you know. Yeah, you know what they say if the ship's a rocking. <laughs> oh, trust me, we know when it's a rocking. <laughs> we usually hear it before anything else. I mean, uh, we didn't we have a thing where you put the orange tie on the door? You don't need to. You just you're just loud enough, the, dear. We the hear it. orange tie doesn't prevent sound. Do That's I not... see anything on sensors? <sighs> Y'all should be sensible like me and just go to a brothel. <laughs> don't shit where you eat. <laughs> you can uh, make a you sensor know. check. Actually, all of you notice. You all haven't seen Thumper in a while because you know you you had shore leave. Even though you all are a functioning unit, you are not together every single day. Uh, Thumper seems different. Now. Different how? More experienced? <laughs> World weary, perhaps? Tumber, did did you get lips installed? No, no, no. Whatever, whatever do you mean? Uh, you seem a little taller there, buddy. I've been working out a lot. I don't know that that gives you that, height. Yeah, that that definitely doesn't give you height. Uh, I, I may I may have uh, had some uh, repairs done to to my my legs. <laughs> you, you got cosmetic surgery to be taller? It's not it's not cosmetic. It's functional. No, and it seems terribly cosmetic, but it's fine. That's that's totally fine. We, you from, know. The, from the plastic surgeon, it was mostly cosmetic. I can tell you by looking at it. But yeah, I mean, look, there's only there's only a, like about a, a one inch welt around each insert. <laughs> I still have fur left in some places. What, what do your like? What does Thumper look like now, relative to what Thumper used to look like? Thumper is like shredded. Uh, his torso is enormous. He's like two two fifty now. Uh, he's <laughs> six foot ten. Uh, he's just rippling with muscles and and uh, implants. Basically, he's crisscrossed with implants and scars, and the, his fur is all mangy and patchy. Uh, mm. One of his eyes is uh, he calls it his lazy eye, but it's like basically looks like part of an aviator uh, sunglasses, but it's just uh, covers his whole eye socket, and it's got this targeting reticule that kind of bounces around like a screensaver. <laughs> uh, and what do his legs look like? Uh, I mean, they're very long, and they have <laughs> bits of metal sticking out of parts of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're the glowing, way. pulsing kind of lights on them as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, I like it. What don't you like? I mean, you can't see the uh, lights when I'm wearing my, my, yeah, no, my I MBA, but I, I, I told the doctors to leave them. <laughs> I don't like ignorant people or closed-mindedness. That's, mm. yeah. Okay. Does he get turn offs? Nah. Mine too. You all hit a patch of turbulence that makes the ship drop 40 drop. feet before Whee! kicking in and your tummy. You, Buckle in! Over the communications system, you hear, Paul! Paul, what is going on up there? We're going to lose the hopper back here! Shh, Junior, I told you, don't reveal yourself until we're planet side. They might kick you off. But, Paul, if we lose a wheel back here, it's not going to matter when we get to the planet side. It's a skimmer. You don't have to have wheels out. You all have never heard this person before. Just stay in the pod. Stay in the pod. Well, I will survive the crash. Of course I'm not going to get out of this pod. Sketch, someone's giving us communications interference. Is it bring your kid to work day? Uh, 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 It's it's bring your kid to war day. (laughs) If that were true, there would be like 300 of them here, wouldn't it? Well, we lost a few, and I, 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 as a blanket policy, I decided to not bring any kids along anymore a few missions ago, but Thumper Jr., she just keeps coming back. She would just run away again. Oh, this is amazing! <laughs> bring her to the front. Oh, no, she's got to stay in the pod. Is she's she like, hot? I mean, that's well, not a she type. does take after her pappy, if you... If that's any indication. Why is that our first thought? What's on sensors? Please, please, just tell me what's on sensors. 
Glitch, yeah, you can make your sensor check. Sure. Can I do something to try to smooth out this ride? You mm -hmm. can. Give me your piloting check. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, did that lady just ask if I am hot? Because, yes, I placed fourth in the intercontinental thought beauty pageant back on the home colony. But you're eight. You ain't you ain't allowed to start dating until you're ten. I can go to war before I can date? I, I Well, technically you can't come to war, but you are, so we're, and we're doing it. Stay um, in the pine! <laughs> yes. 97 under. What can I see that's not this conversation? I'm 104 under. Oh. Uh... You all arrive at the exact same conclusion at the same time. As Glitch, you are checking the sensor array and Sketch, you are just, you're like, talk to me, baby. Come on, no, no, don't fight me. <laughs> like, <laughs> riding the air currents. And you all see coming up from the surface four projectiles. S Glitch, you see it on the scanners as you're like, we got incoming. And Sketch, you visibly see. I would like to miss them but in a very fancy way. When do we all? <laughs> and I'd like to activate our EWS. Okay. And try to track off some Which of it. EWS is, is what? What is it that you were doing? Because uh, you're a specialist and now you're getting to do these things. Yes, uh, so I have ECM inside of me, but I also learned how to use the gadget versions as well. Uh, on this ship, I, I have a containment uh, Unit, so I don't interfere with ship systems. Uh, but I'm going to try to release uh, some traffic to steer their missiles in a different direction. I will also say, with uh, your load. with both of you having rolled so successfully, you realize this incoming fire is about five clicks out from the settlement. So these missiles are not originating from where there should be people. Oh, right. interesting. We'll have to try to work that backwards. Okay, but uh, yeah. I would say with that significant of a roll, you, you know, let me roll myself to find out. I'm like, you're fine, roll. You are not fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh. Oh. Uh, the anti-missile system adds what to their difficulty? Uh, 20. Uh, uh, unless I get to boost it by rolling, I think. Two of the missiles go wide. One of them is a crit and very much hits. And there's no way I can miss it, but I'm so good. It's it's roll literally the best possible. Oh, how dare they? <laughs> That's the best possible I result. So who gave so the first possible outcome As for us? you fire off the chaff, two of the missiles go wide. One of them is coming right towards the hull, and you barrel roll, which is nausea inducing because you all are close enough to the planet to feel mm -hmm. gravity. So it's sort Hold of. Hold on, like, everyone! <laughs> and boom! Ah! In yeah. the side of the ship. What did and it the, hit? The whole thing um, vibrates. Uh, let me see here. I apologize, y'all. I'm operating from like 10 different things. Do you have the ship hit table uh, yes, in front of you? It I is do. a six. Is that is our location. threshold. Yes. Is a six. Uh, the threshold? No, the target location is a six. No, I'm saying our threshold is a six. Oh, that's what you are telling me. Thank yes, you um, Except our, and our flux is 75. Uh, okay, let me see here. Uh... It very much breaches your threshold. Your th flux is 75. So where on the ship is that? A, a six hit. The six The six is the overall threshold. No, I know, yeah, but there's the also hit location. location. Uh, are you looking at the hit locations or no? No. It is fine if you are not. I am not. Okay. Uh, we will look that up. However, this is a vicious hit to the ship. Boom! Blows a giant hole in it. You Start venting atmosphere instantly. You are absolutely going down. Okay. Like the da the dash lights of. Edge, can you do something here? Uh, I'd like to make an engineering power check to try to reroute power to maneuvering thrusters at least and stabilize us. Which part of the ship is the hole in? Uh, let's find the that. ship part. Uh, Jake, could you do me a favor? Yes, I need to know if the, it's affecting our ship skimmer. targeting location, or um, if it's a, a section sure. we can. Cord it off. Because I, what I have on my PDF right now is the weapons of the people that are attacking you. And I if I leave this page, those. it's hard yep. to do both. Okay. When this happens, what's everyone else doing? Presumably, you were, in fact, strapped in. And over the comms, you hear, ah, Paul! 
It's Vinton back here. I'm fine in the hopper, but we have lost containment. Uh, release the two decoy drones. From up here, they ain't gonna do no good out there, Paul. Uh, I do that. Um, well, hell, I- I'm gonna get the turret. Okay. Uh, okay. Be hey, hey, be careful, cause cause you ain't signed the new will yet, okay? And I never will. <laughs> I already told my brothers I got dibs on them legs. <laughs> Are, my legs. are you headed to the gun stuffer? I want to. Uh, I want to try to. Is there like an open uh, portal somewhere that I can just like leap through into one of the gun turrets? Uh, issuing the disclaimer that we need to find the critical hit because the ship is like critically damaged now. I just want to make sure the turret didn't get blown so, off. Uh, would you roll? Would you roll uh, for the critical? Uh, because I've got a critical hit chart right here. Uh, what die do I need to 1D6. roll? One d six. Okay, that is a four. Uh, that would be a random weapon destroy uh, on first hit. Okay, so uh, the turret of the ship has been blown off. So we've got multiple ones. You've got, yeah. Okay. You've got uh, the Sea Sam's uh, turrets, two of them, uh, and then there's the plasma, the plasma BC obliterators. I would there say, I would say, one of the obliterators is bl- obliterated. Okay, can I jump? It's good in? thing you weren't in there. What's what's the uh, uh, what is the obliterator? The, is it a plasma weapon? It is a plasma ship weapon. mounted. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and the other one is a PMG. Uh, that is a pulse. That is a pulse weapon. That is ship ship man. No, pulse above weapon. game. Like which one? Which one would be better in this situation if I'm trying to return fire or knock mi- further missiles out of the air? There's going to be pl- the the C Sams are your anti missile defenses. Okay, I'm hopping. Although those. again, the ship is very much going down. Like you are going to crash imminently. Oh well, well forget all that then. <laughs> I got I got to prep the uh, I got to prep the the infant the armored personnel carrier for uh, deployment, and we'll just deploy it. Uh, a few seconds before we hit the ground. Just jump, jump out uh, the maybe activate the skimmers on it. Uh, see, see what we can survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is very much a function now of like how safely uh, Sketch can put the ship down. Like it is, it was always a drop. Now it is a plummet drop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is Ace doing? Uh, Ace is grabbing the paramedic kit and uh, some of the first aid kits and a lot of the stuff that we might need on impact and just bracing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and try and be ready? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, Sketch. You said you were trying to roll to reroute power to try and smooth yeah. this out some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Jake, what page is that, please? Uh, I'm sorry, what? What, what page was that? Oh, uh, three, uh, book page 347. Book page. That's a uh, ship hit location, and then on the next page is the critical hit table. Perfect. Thank you. 36 okay. under. Uh, to try and establish what exact thing are you trying to do? Uh, I'm trying to rear out available power to maneuvering okay. thrusters to try to also like assist our pilot okay. as, as the co-pilot. All right, and what are you doing, Sketch? Like, she is falling out of the sky. I'm trying to safely land her. Okay, roll it. So I got a mm-hmm. 22. Mm-hmm. My uh, piloting skill is 135. To do a safe crash landing after a critical hit is negative 80 Maybe. to that, mm-hmm. so uh, I still make it. And it's a uh, 22, which is just fun to say. Which, yes, it, it, this is a very high tense situation, otherwise I super would ask for the 22 thing. Uh, what page is that, by the way, where you where you read the negative 80 to the... 322. Page? 322, perfect. Okay, uh, that is where I thought that was. Okay, it comes in hot. In the ship. Buckle in, everyone! And at the last second, Sketch is able to pull up the nose enough to... Uh, release the carrier! Release the carrier, Junior! Just, we're are, we're do, on the ground! We're you, on the ground. Do you get into the carrier? I mean, we kind of have all been in the carrier, if, if except for the pilot of the, the ship. The uh, carrier the just detaches well, from the dropship. Well, yeah, the, the two of them were definitely piloting, and I believe Ace said they were just going to buckle in, too. So, Tark, do you go for the carrier, or do you ride down on the ship? Staying with the ship. <laughs> About 50 feet before the ground. Uh, you're in the carrier? Yeah. She's like, hello, Buck! <laughs> And you watch as, and it is a spectacular piece of flying, as it is basically a shipping container that has a giant hole in the side of it. But Sketch does put it down and slide across a desolate and windswept plane. Mm-hmm. When you guys land and you look back at Ace, she just has one uh, one injection in her hand, and it's just kind of right here. And she looks like she's just prepped to hit herself with it, and then she's. She realizes that we're safe. She goes, okay, where's, okay. Where's I, the I trust? Only, I where's only have the one trust? Of these. I only have one of these. 
So if anybody dies, <laughs> good landing. I'd rather save myself, but I will use it on you. But like this, this thing right here. Just remember, if anyone dies, guys, it's this one. But no one's died yet. Let's try and keep it that way. We yeah. we don't know about Hoss yet. <sighs> that is very true. We need to go find him. Speaking of which, should we should we release a, a, a recon drone? Try to try to establish uh, comms with Haas? Over the radio, you hear. Skip, skip. I have a com boost, an orbital orbital pl- uh, com boost, which is uh, planet wide. I'm also terribly good at communications. Uh, can I try you can make to a communicate exactly? Because you also very much just crashed. So <laughs> everything is all. Well, no, I also I have a separate like mm-hmm. it's a yeah, yeah. Roll communications. It. It sounds like house. Grab it. Um, <laughs> I would like yes. to roll uh, observation Sorry, and see if I can Kamel. see anything around us now that we're closer to mm-hmm. the things that we're probably mm-hmm. shooting at. Yeah, so make good. your observation check. Um, I don't think Arrayans have a sight bonus, but if they do, you would subtract that because different species are good at different things. We um, have a five plus five sight bonus okay. or, or five. It's, it is a, it is in this case it is negative because low numbers are good, but it's five points to your benefit. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when you roll the dice, you will take five away from that, and your goal is low. You want under your observation skill. Sketch. Come in. Sketch. Uh, so I rolled. Uh, oh, math. <laughs> Yeah, so I rolled 20, but I'm not sure. Observation is... Uh, I rolled 28 below. Okay. Is uh, which, which skill do I use? It, no, it is a skill. Observation it is, is, a skill. A, is so its own skill. So I have to skill. be below 75? Yes. Oh, okay. So you made it by like 50. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see... Uh, especially based on where you guys know you were supposed to touch down. So the people attacking you were about five kilometers out. Uh, you came up, got hit, and kind of went down and basically ended up about five clicks away from your destination, but sort of in the other direction. You were like, yeah. So your enemies should be on the other side so we're ten of the settlement. Ten clicks from the enemies, okay. exactly. Or at least ten clicks from the source of the missiles. Um, as you look around, it does just look... It appears deserted. But are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Do we need to pick up Thumper? And Thumper? Junior. Let's let's call the little girl, girl Junior. For clarity. But aren't there like 27 juniors? There's only one here. Okay. I hope. Uh, do we need to pick them up? They, uh, presumably, you... What does your vehicle look like, Thumper? Um, it's... It's kind of like the the flatbed of like a well, it's kind of like a monster truck, like an armored monster truck, basically. But it's a skimmer; it doesn't have wheels on it. Mm-hmm. So and it says monster on the side. <laughs> it's sponsor. How else do you sponsored. know it's a monster truck? <laughs> exactly. Monster <laughs> skimmer. Those are the yeah. It's got the three slashes. You know what it means. Uh, At this pres- point, I'm probably looking at the blast shields. Mm-hmm. And you said you sent out your reconnaissance drones. Please feel free to as you guys see the skimmer come up. You z- and they fly away. The ship is absolutely ruined. It is no small miracle that no one is dead, which again is yet another credit to you, Sketch. Uh, what did you get on that comms roll? Uh, I I have changed it since then, but I got 28 below. Okay. Uh, just for the record, that really was an incredibly difficult roll, and had she failed it, they very much could have died just with She's the a ship very crashing. Good pilot. Yes. And uh, ten minutes into the episode, the cast is dead. It's true. <laughs> Except you, because Aradani just lived. Yeah. You're like, you're like mm, I'm not just gonna, gonna not die right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna not die. Everyone else kinda screwed. Uh, um roaches so, of the universe. <laughs> as you are boosting that um uh your communication, it is not Haas who is radioing you, it is Knowlton. Uh your old commanding officer from times long past. Is like, are you all down on the ground? We read your your ship crashed. Please come in. Uh, yes, it the ship is is uh, we're fine, we're fine. Damn it, Scouts! Did you crash another landing ship after four next seven? You said you would not do that again. It oh. wasn't on purpose. There uh, were there were missiles. We were shot. Missiles. Yes, we were shot by missiles. And I landed it with all of us alive with a hole in the side of the ship. That would have been far more impressive if you did not allow a hole to get put in the side of my vessel. How did you keep the other two that you crashed secret? Other two? We set them on fire and left them on the off-ramp of the freeway. 
if you first to beat anybody, just make sure you all survive this mission, and we will have an extended discussion about your treatment of SSDC property. I can I just say that we we are all unscathed, and that's terribly impressive. It's yeah, terribly impressive. Case. I, I would I, like to reach over and shut the comms off. <laughs> I can say with some authority that you are easy to replace them. <laughs> I don't skate unless I got a hot date or the weekend's coming. I'm expensive to replace. He's can we, mean can we switch vehicles and let's get out of here? Uh, sh- yeah, so can we, I'd like to come you to tell you to come get us. I mean, he's, he's there. Already? I mean, the, the, the... Oh, it wasn't so it's just, it's yes. just Junior? No, well, he jumped into the skimmer. They just essentially ejected right before you hit the ground. Oh, okay. I, mean, I didn't know how basic. far off they got quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's, yeah. he's pulled up, so mm-hmm. I guess I will get out of containment. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's, let's, uh, you know, grab, grab anything. Junior, lower the entry ramp. Uh, Paul... Isn't that blue-haired one the one you said would disrupt all of our systems if they ever were allowed within 10 meters of Ophelia here? That blue-haired one has a name. That's one of the reasons that the cockpit you're in is shielded, Junior. Well, but I just don't want to be out there and lose a grab unit, Paul. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We got we got a bulkhead between that and the secondary grab unit. You All know right, that. We're low I mean, Paul, I know you've made a career of this, which is some success, but are you sure you want to be seen openly fraternizing with these non fought well, That is not how I was raised, Paul. That is not how I was raised, Paul. There ain't gonna be no fight here to see it, except Haas. You remember Uncle Haas. Oh, yes, I, I love Uncle Cousin Paul Haas. He, he's a great fella. I hope we locate him. All right, now can I get calm silence for a moment? Just, it's just a privilege to listen to them speak sometimes. You won't really do hear the, the ramp on the truck does come down. Can I leave the ramp and use my special. Uh, augmented uh, ears and my multispectral uh, scanner in, in my eye? You absolutely can, and you send out the reconnaissance drones. As you all approach, you do all see the head of a young, fought female kind of looking out over at the ground and, like, looking at all of you while you're coming up. And, I mean, she's cute. Fine. You did ask, you know, so yeah, yeah. She's eight. I mean, she's eight and fought, which is like, you know, old enough to party. Um, they don't live. She long. is not old enough to party. <laughs> they don't live long. Okay, so. But they prosper. They do. That is true. Well, uh, boy, do we prosper. Uh, the fought were a uh, genetically prosper. engineered species expressly meant to be a um, rapidly breeding short-lived menace to the entire galaxy. Yes, just <laughs> gift to the galaxy. <laughs> Yes. Um, there are some disputes of translation. The, the Arrayans are the gift to the galaxy. Arrayan, right, you're welcome. I mean, so much sexiness, tiny little packages. We're going to outbreed you in a generation and you know it. That's <laughs> probably true. I'm not a gift. I'm bought and I'm expensive. <laughs> that is true. Do you all you all move towards the scanner? Gifts. Okay. You uh, make your observation check you with all the appropriate modifiers. Okay. So... Uh, Sound, I get a, a, a plus 44, and observation, I get an additional plus 44. So they are they would be different things. You would oh, make yeah. one roll to like see what you hear, and a different roll to see what you see. Let's do here first. Okay. Uh, that is an 84. My he- normal hearing is uh, 80 at this point, I think. Yeah, 80, because it's dub- it doubled because of my uh, expensive ear implants. So okay. you rolled above? Well, but you have a minus 40? Is that not? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you subtract 40 from the from die that. roll, and you want to get under the skill level. Just yeah. how, that, how those modifiers So work. if you had an 80 as your, your roll, you have, okay, a, so, you have a 40. Okay, so I don't, I don't have observation as a skill, so I just... Okay. How does that work? Uh, it... It is a. It is an. It's then a, it's your intuition. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. intuition. Mm-hmm. So half into half my intuition mm-hmm. plus just, with just, my, just half your intuition, and then my hearing bonus brings it up to sixty six. Right. So, well, what is your? What would half of your intuition be? Twenty six. Okay. So when you roll, you subtract forty because of your expensive implants. Okay. And you need that number to be under twenty six. Is how that would work. Which okay. Is not. But my. But my hearing is is uh, okay. Yeah, so I don't get much, I guess. Right. Yeah, because uh, yeah, wind. Although you do hear something, you hear a man uh, talking. A voice that you you've heard before that you recognize. What's he saying? Um, it's coming from uh, Junior's cockpit. She's listening to something. I told you I want to call him Silence, Junior. Just like. Uh, 
Are you, are you watching streaming videos again? <laughs> Paul, I am not broadcasting. It is what is being broadcast to us. It's broadcast everywhere. Well, who is play. it? <laughs> she turns it up, and you all hear a voice that just like... Are we like, all in the skimmer mm, now? Okay, cool. Mm, 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 mm. Um... <laughs> the arachnids are considered the bane of the alliance. If I don't destroy life as you know it first, then this alien race and their badass cohort surely will. I must confess that I'm kind of jealous. The arachnids have been directly and indirectly responsible for the deaths of billions. I personally have only managed a fraction of that number. It ain't right. Plus, they get better press. However, I'm only one man, and I do have my limitations. Statistically speaking, there's a good chance when your number comes up, it'll be a nid punching your ticket. You probably won't be killed by some rare disease. The space liner in which you're traveling during your vacation won't crash on re-entry. Womp womp. You probably won't get run over by a skimmer, and you surely won't die of old age. The odds-on favorite is that some centaur-like alien with a ma major attitude problem is going to rip you and your family a new one while you sit there eating yummies watching tri -V. Who loves you, baby? Uncle Ernie! It is, in fact, Uncle Ernie Freiburg, the <laughs> menace to all life forms everywhere and creator of the thought. Praise to the creator! Oh, fuck. Who wants to kill all of us? Uh, can we try to figure out where the signal's coming from? Uh, it is being broadcast on all frequencies. Even after all these years, I think that they can't get any weirder. And then every mission we go on, they get weirder. Just a little bit. Just yeah. a little tiny bit every like time. It's, it's impressive. On purpose. It's like they're doubling down on weird. It's very okay. impressive. I think the weaponized jellyfish were still the weirdest ones, though. As keen as I am to, to bask girl. in, in, uh, in a Uncle Ernie's uh, <laughs> locution, what can I see? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so my multispectral gives me um, again. It, it's that's the that's the plus forty. So, mm -hmm. so you subtract forty from what you roll. Okay, mm -hmm. it's still higher than my intuition. <laughs> All right. Uh, or actually, uh, is it higher than my half my intuition or my base intuition? Uh, half, because you don't have the skill. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. again, sand gets in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, looks just like rocky nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm going to try to um, try to find, like, scan camos uh, for Hoss or somebody else on okay. the planet. And you can also roll for your reconnaissance drones. Although Thumper's like, Pa, do you want me to get us in motion heading towards the settlement? Yeah. I don't like being out here all open. This. Yeah, I mean, in until we issue new orders and find our hosses, just head towards the settlement. You will, Ace yes. is going to throw on her infrared goggles and also scan. Okay, roll it. You roll it. The, the scanner starts rumbling across the desolate landscape. I will fix Chan yes. as well if I can. I rolled okay. a 10. Uh, add, so 10 out is of a crit. 115. Well, that is your crit success. That is the best you can possibly get in this game. So, oh. yes, that is your natural 20, basically. Oh. Um, so Amazing. what is it that you were attempting to figure out? Um, I was trying to pick up on any uh, comms from either Settlement or Hoss, uh, now that we're on the planet, hoping that, that perhaps we could reach someone, even though they weren't able to calm out. So you, again, with the, the best possible result, uh, you do detect this um, message from Uncle Ernie being transmitted on a loop on all frequencies. Mm -hmm. uh, you find there are several, basically, um, just recorders that have just been dropped intermittently at the planet. Like, every once in a while, you can just kind of detect that it's like there's a place, and the only thing it is doing is broadcasting this one message. Um, do you, you pass by any of them? Uh, you could, if you would like. There is not overtly one in between you and the settlement, but you could detour to one. Is it blocking other comms? Or other uh, commos? It just seems like there just aren't any. And there should be. Because there is a settlement here. I mean, these are like the billboards on Bill Fix 6. Every click, there's a, there's a transmission for Uncle Ernie Mart until you actually get to Uncle Ernie Mart. There is true. And also I, at Uncle I have Ernie a Mart. new goal to kill this man. Uncle Ernie Mart. That's not gonna happen. It's like Saw movies, yes. Uh, and also, no, Uncle Ernie happening. is the scourge of the galaxy. Like, he is the most wanted man in the Alliance. Like, you're quite oh. familiar with who he is. It, but it, he wasn't a gold before. Now he's gold. <laughs> now he is, as of today. Oh, today, just now this you one also day. want him. Uh, I want him dead. I'm a very motivated person. Uh, you also pick up a low-band uh, static transmission 
which is you can tell there's a message encoded in the static, but even you can't detect it. And you know you're damn good at this. There's a some sort of co- encoded message, and I I can't encode it. So that's uh, this is very very high tech. What did you get with your infrared? Fingers, oh, fingers, I didn't fingers. see anything. I got an eighty-eight out of seventy-five. The, it, it's weird because everything's red. You're like, ah. <laughs> These, these are new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Not exactly. I'll, ju- I'll just put these back up here until someone teaches me how to use them. Uh, I, I could I could show you. Um, I took a multi-spectral uh, binocular observation check as well. I rolled 75 under. Uh, do you hand them the glitch? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, glitch, are you nervous? When you hand them, you get a little bit of a static. <laughs> Sorry. No, I like Shock. it. It's cool. It's cool. I mean, this is, this is how you find out when you're into something. You don't know until you try, right? Like, hey. <laughs> you, you okay, buddy? Oh, I mean, we crashed. It's we're just, it's okay. been a day. But we're okay, yeah? I mean, I don't know. Maybe Hoss isn't okay. But we're okay, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll take a look around. Uh, there is, uh, something, uh, glitch, is you're looking in the air, there are objects flying over you. There's five of them. Mm. With your, you can sort of like, you know, like when you get like 3D movie and you like, <laughs> like yeah. it's like, it just looks like a cloudy day. And then you're like, no, nope, there's nope. something. Yeah. And then cloudy day, nope, there's something. Hmm. They're flying over you. Are they keeping pace with us? Circling. Yeah, I think someone's watching us. And they're circling? They are large, winged things that are vaguely reminiscent of the old Earth pterodactyls. Uh, did I get infrared off them? Like, organic pattern? Uh, these are creatures. But they are not there to your naked eyes. These are... (laughs) Flying, stealthy creatures. Like king, maybe? Similar, but bigger and flying higher than a king should be able to. Like... But a similar thing, yes. Like Swolkeen. Do you I, think I have not been doing well with the recon uh, droid data? Can, can I uh, can I patch that over to Glitch? So <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you're looking at the reconnaissance droids, Thumper, this video game sucks, man. You're just like... I want to feel like I'm there shooting things. <laughs> organic, inorganic. I'm not picky, but I got to be shooting something. Mm-hmm. I can't see nothing. <laughs> Glitch, you very much hear Thumper complaining about this. Uh, Here's the thing. Are you going to let them touch your new beloved reconnaissance equipment? I was just going to route it over. I mean, they're using the comms on the carrier. I was just going to send the info over to them. All right, but you're not going to let them touch no, it. No, we're not, we're not in the carrier anymore. We're together now. We're, yeah, we're no, they're, they are on board the I'm uh, as the, far from the cockpit yeah, as possible. They're on board the skimmer. The skimmer's rolling. Everybody is on I'm board. I've just this. been yeah. looking out the window with my goggles. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't patch it over to your HUD? Or, oh, or you whatever. can. I'm just saying, you know what they do to your stuff. That's all I'm saying. If, if they are physically close to it, but not the, the drones, I'm just taking the feet I'm getting. I'm already doing my damage. I'm within 30 feet. All right. Uh, then yes, you could make use your sensors or your skills to check the reconnaissance drones. Yeah, would that be sensors? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right, good. All right. I ain't good with sensors. Right. I bought them. <laughs> That's my contribution. Um, is there any uh, equipment bonus or anything I need to account for? Uh, I think it's there a forty. Okay. Is cool. their strength? Uh, then I will uh, subtract that from my die roll and roll under one hundred twenty-one. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. Roll it. Um, well, I do. You know, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 96 below. Uh, is you're like, zzz, zzz, and you like zoom in on one of these things. Oh, sorry, 46 below because of the 50 ECM. Ah, got it. So yeah. taking into account that I'm making it glitchy, 46. Uh, is you're like, and it's kind of like, sorry, I have to compensate for me. It's okay, it's better than what, what he did. So, yeah. uh, as you like get a much closer look at this thing, and it is terrible, 
It's got a gray, rocky hide and a mouth that is just full of teeth. Thanks, I and hate it. While you're zooming in, looking at one, out of nowhere, a second one is like, <laughs> and grabs the pro- grabs the drone and like crushes it. That was disquieting. Monitor goes com- out completely. I don't completely. like doing those in VR. And you all hear. <laughs> Remember that? That and y'all, rest of y'all hear that? Yeah, uh, they Nightmare have lots of teeth. They are very big. They're kind of chalky and rocky and like to chomp on, uh, sorry, one of your drones is gone now. I didn't do it. I see them as our drones, and therefore I do not feel as bad about their loss. <laughs> Can someone <laughs> shoot with the infrared on? Anyone have that ability? What do you need What do you need to shoot with the infrared? I mean, to use those. Uh, have goggles on. Have, you know. Sen- is it sensory? Is it sen- What's the role? Uh, I think it's a standard check. It might just be modified if the GM wills it. What sort of weapons uh, does the skimmer have? Uh, okay. Slash, does it have a moon roof? <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say, we should have pro- a hatch. I was going to say, one of us could hop up on it. Whoever's got yeah. long range mm-hmm. can go up there and snipe. I, I have very long range with my Vector 4. And then mm-hmm. I'll just stand up there just in case it gets close. Yeah. Uh, right now, they're up wheeling around range 3. Uh, of course, as winged creatures, oh, you know, yeah. they could descend, but out right now they're up around range bracket three. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. I'm good out to eight. So who's going up? I'm also good out to eight. Uh, uh, hold on, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go I'll up as well. I'll tell you what the weapon loadout okay. is on this. Thing. When, I think they're yeah. going to use personal weapons. Okay. I mean, but it's good. It's good to know what you got. Yeah, 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 for sure. When uh, the drone Ooh. disappears, you very much hear Thumper Junior. is like, "Hold on, everybody, we double timing." <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Mm-hmm. So, this armored infantry transport archetype <laughs> uh, with the truck has a uh, reflex missile bay turret uh, with six reflex XL missiles mm-hmm. and an HMG sized weapon. Mm-hmm. Heavy machine gun. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Heavy machine gun. If anybody wants to man that, mm-hmm. I think we send our sniper up. And you're the, you're a gunner, aren't you? I go out too. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, pace. you can't see it unless you get infrared. Can't visually see it, so unless well, we I have, have multi spectrum optics, yeah, you Perfect. can see it. Done. Mm-hmm. Do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll try and get my goggles back from the glitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I have my own. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm good. Right, so so above game, would I know if this is like a monster, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what what would is it good to use an omega weapon on it, or uh, uh, do you, I know any of that would, kind of you stuff? You would have no point of reference because okay. but we know it's unarmored, it. so yeah, we don't have to worry about these creatures before. Uh, some things have natural armor, That's so right. you yeah. don't you don't necessarily you know it is not wearing anything right. like clearly artificial. But it's flying, and mm-hmm. natural armor doesn't like that physics. Uh, I would not. I, I would advise against trying to draw those att- those attempts at logical deductions. Think of dragons. They got they got damn tradition. Yeah, yeah, they get in the air and they they're still fine. All right, I'm yeah. prepping the good old trusty disintegrator, my matter obliterator. Okay. Soon right. up. All right, Ace, you and I will go up top. Mm-hmm. You going up, Ace? You going mm-hmm. up? Going up with Torque? Mm-hmm. I am going to help Junior piloting. Mm, okay. Uh, when when you approach the bubble, she wheels around. She goes, "Wait, you know how to sling one of these things too?" I do. She's like, "Well, don't tell my pa that I let you in the bubble." And she pulls like, <laughs> and even inside, she is literally in a bubble that is sort of like sitting near the the front of this vessel. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and like shielded uh, AF. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She's like, come on in here. I'm I'm apologizing that I stayed in here. We are crashing earlier, but, you know, I wanted to live. No, that's totally fine. And, yeah. you know, you you don't know me, and you don't know that I walk out of every crash. So she, that's... she goes, yeah, but check this out. She flips a switch, and you see a hollow vid of the transport, like, and you pulling up at the very last second and, like, sliding in. She's like, that was some pretty badass flying, if can I you, do say so. Can you send that to me? She's like, oh, yeah, no, I'll be able to you right now. Oh, amazing. Right. I repost it. <laughs> On Space Insta. Space, space Insta. Space, space I, get, I get a little notification that's like, find service, and then we'll upload, upload later. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you're like, oh. yeah. I, really, I think, in my mind, that's why you've got the comm boost in orbit, is to post on Space Insta the things yeah. you do. I've got like a secret like space tumbler that's like <laughs> a, a, you know any crash you walk away from is a good one it's just all my crashes there are several but hey still walking uh, and now walking better for some of you alright so Glitch what are, what are you doing during all this 
Um, I'm going to try to stay on, uh, uh, is there any kind of, uh, countermeasures on this that I can, like, try to stealth, so, like, up stealth systems? Like, uh, try to keep them from spotting us? Anything? Uh, these things, by the way, are about eight meters from wingtip to wingtip. Roughly 24 feet for those of us in savage countries that don't use the metric system. Yes. So they are not, ins- they are, they are not insignificant creatures. Cool. Uh, then it sounds like I might need to help, so uh, I will grab a, a gun or two. Okay. Two. Uh, so you all pop up the hatch and kind of make, uh, give me agility checks for all of you. Because she is opening this thing up to the best of her ability. Oh, mm-hmm. that's under the uh, full base you, stat, correct? Uh, yes. Uh, not you, Skip. You were in the cockpit. You were safe. Hmm? I got 52 under 75. Okay. But, you know, you, you got it. You got it, Ace. You know? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, 44 the, on a 77. The, the, the wind is blowing. Again, it is a very cloudy, dusty, dirty place. Yes. I'm uh, 121 under. <laughs> You don't understand what all the fuss is about. <laughs> you just, I'm you just gotta, rocking. Exactly. <laughs> Surfing it out. We're in the land. Let's just so take it. Saunter off. Exactly. Take it in the hips. You just go with it. Just go with it. Motion of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's fine. But you all, again, to the best of your ability, are all able to get up there. All of you give me your initiative. So, again, this is not percentile. You roll 2d10 and add it. So, 20 is the max. Subtract your initiative modifier from that. Boom. That was pretty bad. I got a nine. Zero. Zero. <laughs> they also have a zero. <laughs> Negative nine. Four. <laughs> All right. Um, four. And then it was a four for you. Negative nine. No, no, for Tark. Uh, what was initiative based off again? Uh, you were, it is, you roll the 2d10. No, 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 no. With the, the modifier? The, the modifier. Uh, it's a function of agility, I believe. Okay, so but there I, are some other things that modify it. Yeah, though. that that's you, that's you, that number is from my ability. So you I have, should be a minus thirteen. Okay, so I have base a, before you have anything else. Mm-hmm. There. All right, so uh, what was uh, you, what were you glitch? Zero. Okay. I'm negative four. Okay. Uh, negative four. And uh, you were negative nine. Yes, sir. So, here's how this works. You will declare in the opposite order of what it is that you want to do. So, even though Sketch will actually act last, you will declare first, because the other people, essentially, that are moving faster, kind of have a survey of everything that is going on. So, what do you intend to do? Well, I mean, right now I'm just sitting in a bubble next to Junior, who's flying, right? Driving. 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 It's like a, Driving. It's like a hover vehicle, but yes. I mean, Driving. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. Driving. It's hovering. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can't actually see any of the things up top. You can. I mean, you know, you have sensor rays and bubbles. Like you're, you're not blind in here. Right, but that, but we can't see the things without the infrared. Oh, uh, right. That is true. They're, they're, they're invisible to your naked eyes. So, uh, I basically, I'm just going to be on standby to help with driving. Uh, I mean, or do you want to just take the wheel and do it? I would like to take the wheel. Right, okay, so you're going to be like, hang on, kid, let me show you something. <laughs> you know? like, okay. Right, so right. basically my my focus is to keep it steady mm-hmm. and, and listen if they call out that, it, you know, we need to go more in any direction. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just going to be like, let me know where you want me to put this. Mm-hmm. And I... <laughs> So glitch. Keep it to yourself. That's uh, what she said. Glitch, Ace, and the creatures will all act simultaneously. So what is Glitch going to do? I'm gonna shoot him a lot. You're gonna do do murder. What is Ace going to do? Uh, she is going to take aim at uh, the flying death pterodactyls, and um, yeah, she's gonna take aim with the missiles. Okay, I'm gonna shoot a missile. I am. All right, and uh, the creatures also intend to do murder. Um, and, uh, Tark? I plan on, if any of them get close, I swing. Okay. And, uh, you should, you should have a chance of doing that. <laughs> These things are incredibly fast, by the way. They have a fly of 230. Cool. So they're like, <laughs> as they're circling. Um, and a Thumper, uh, while you are the last to declare, you are the first to act. So you can just tell me what you do and do it. Uh, can I run into maybe range bracket two of, of one of these these folks? You would have to jump because they're they're in the air. 
They're circling over you. You all are on the back of the transport. They are in the air. How, how far? How far away are they? From they are me? at range bracket three currently. All right, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a shot at. Uh, at uh, well, actually, I will do uh, a burst mm-hmm. on one of them. Actually, no, I can't do a burst with this weapon. It's uh, my matter obliterator. I can. I can take a take a shot. Okay. At one of them. Okay. So let's see. That is an energy weapon. My skill, my skill percentage in it is 146. Okay. At range bracket three, it's a 20 modifier. Okay. So that brings it. I rolled a 70 under 156. So that would that's uh, yeah. So mm-hmm. minus 86 under. Okay. Uh, you very much hit. <laughs> All right. Uh, that says it does 20 d4 damage, but I can take the average damage, which is 50. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, <laughs> does Thumper say anything first? <laughs> Get down here! <laughs> you all see Thumper. And it just explodes in a shower of, like, extremely nasty viscera in all directions. And the remaining five are all... It was a matter obliterator, disintegrated. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, it, yeah, it's the, there's nothing left of the one, of the one that you did. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> that is, uh, you cannot, so that is technically a single shot. Uh, you are able to keep shooting with your with your remaining actions, or you can bank some of them for, like, dodging and evasive maneuvers. If it comes so to I still have maneuver. another three actions, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to take another one out. I'm going to try to take another one you out. Could, you can shoot again and still have something to dodge. Yep, that's what mm-hmm. I'm going to do. All right, so that's, I rolled a 23. And it's under the 156, so that is uh, 77 plus uh, plus 56. I'm way, way under. <laughs> okay. Uh, it attempts to, like, wheel away from you, and it is not enough. Uh, do you do the average? Huh? Yeah, yeah. average damage. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's left. All right. Okay. Pasty. Uh, saving saving uh, the rest for some, some dodging. Okay. All right. Uh, Tark. Uh, they are still in the air, but they very much are going to swoop down and attack. Uh, if you like, I will say that you can wait to the when the first one is in range yeah. and hit it. There's, yeah, I want to. There are three left. Uh, there there was, are four left. Four there, left. There, were, there were six total. Yeah, okay. Uh, you have destroyed two. Yeah, I'm, uh, I I would like to hold. Okay. Uh, again, glitch, ace, and the creatures will all act simultaneously. Yes. Um, Stand in front of me. Not, not right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Ace, what would you like to do? <clears throat> um, Ace is going to... Uh, you, you see a little rack on her back releases a giant uh, missile, and she's going to aim towards one of the flying death creatures and uh, shoot a Digiton missile at them. Uh, that is one thing you all have seen is different about your friend since the last time you were together. She now is basically ringed from shoulder down to her wrist in rockets, and there is a, an additional cluster that are basically on her back that just, like, point upwards, kind of like in racks of four. This seems dangerous. I saw Tank Girl. I thought it looked cool. So, like, you know, the giant rocket thing. I was like, oh, that's good for my aesthetic. You know, the 80s Earth movies are just so good. I like it. You can never have enough rockets. Just just don't fall down. I just feel like it would be bad. Uh, I mean, but the rocket could lift me back up if I fall down. I get knocked down. Yeah, that is is a free personal flight. She's going to get that stuck in your head again. Uh, I would also say you all know, as dedicated soldiers that you are, her arm-mounted rockets are basically personal, and the body-mounted ones are anti-vehicular, essentially. Anti-vehicular, anti-structure. Big, little. This is direct (laughs) fire weaponry. Uh, Yes. Hey, and Glitch, what are you doing? You can roll it. Just let me know when you get it. Uh, uh, that is, that is, oh, man, I thought you had something else. And Glitch is doing what? I'm shooting a whole lot. Okay. I'm rolling out all of these shots. All right, you're doing a number of bullets. 15 yes. under. Uh, 15 under. Analytics. Believe it or not, your <laughs> missile comes in and it rolls, uh, which is faster than you might expect for a creature of its size, and the missile flies wide. <laughs> It did again, a barrel roll. It did do a barrel roll. However, you do have more actions. I'm going to shoot again. Okay. Uh, remember, it's a negative 20 for each uh, successive single shot. Yep. 
Mm. So the way this works, by the way, is any weapon, you can take multiple shots. You can be like, pow, 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 pow. Uh, each one is 20% harder. Some weapons have what is called a burst, where you can shoot a cluster, and some weapons have full auto, and different things mechanically happen, depending on which one you choose. Mm -hmm. What is that? That is a crit. That is the best possible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I did that. So <laughs> it spins out of the way, which, again, you're like, I fell into my trap. Come on, you. <laughs> And then uh, catch it as it is attempting to roll out of the way, you know? And I go, ah, see? Second time's a charm. Yeah. yeah. That one was smarter. <laughs> uh, what is uh, the damage? You can either roll the damage or you can just give me the average. Uh, average is 45. Yeah. This is not a disintegration. This is, you have monster goop in your hair. There's chunks of it. Kind of it hits the ground and its head screams for a second. It is viciously destructive. Here's the thing, though. This is still easier to remove from my outfit than the orange spray paint. So, uh, so, but since but technically, the spray paint looks so good. Technically, this happens simultaneous. It will still have a chance to roll its own attack to see what what it did in the interim. But it yeah. is dead either way. It just might also hit back before it died because this is all happening at once. Uh, same glitch. All right. Uh, so I pick up my rifle and I'm going to make a shot. It's a called headshot. I make it on 53 under. Boom! Headshot! Uh, it does 14 damage. Uh, that is not enough to kill it. However, that is enough for it to crit. Um, so you can roll on the critical hit table. Uh, let me ask you, um, are any of them less than 37 under? Hmm... One, yes. Uh, the one that is less than 37 under would miss because uh, it is KB, it dodges at 37%. So it's evasive maneuvers are. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so uh, 14 does not kill it, but it is a crit. Um, so would you ha hit the second shot on the same target? Yes. Okay. And how much would it do the second time? Uh, same. Okay. Uh, that would be enough to bring it out of the sky. Technically, still it's wouldn't kill it because it's got its death door, but it is worth a crit to uh, let me know because right, yep. maybe so you do I'll kill it outright. First thing, mm -hmm. uh, four on the crit table. So two two shots worth drop yes. one of them. There are three remaining. Again, it will still get a chance to attack because technically it was attacking when you were attacking. Right. But yes, simultaneous pewing. <laughs> exactly. Hey. Mm -hmm. pew, and, then pew, also, pew. Um, and then I had just a shot to arm or a wing shot. Okay. Uh, that was a 71 number. Uh, that okay? That is enough to hit? Oh, you wanted to hit it in the wing? Uh, or that's just the target said it hit, you hit it in the yeah. wing? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, for how much damage? Uh, another 14. Okay. Uh, again, it stays in the air, but that is enough to crit on it. Yes. Yep. And yeah. uh, from there, I shoot, miss. Okay. And then uh, I have enough remaining actions uh, after the misses to duck to, back. To dodge? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cover. Yeah. So, uh, you all, uh, you, so you shot down two, right? Because uh, I was keeping track of this on a die, and then I rolled that die. <laughs> so you brought down two. You brought down one, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, Ace just brought down two. Or not Ace. Glitch just brought down two. So that correct? means there's one more. So technically one is still in the uh, air. No, I killed one. I hit one. Oh, yes. One, yes. Uh, yeah, so two were, st two, were, two were still in the air. Although you did do it. enough it damage to crit. It down. Yeah. Well, you crit it on it, so it may still fall out of the sky, okay. but it is not destroyed. So, two are still in the fight. However, four are going to attack, because again, technically they were attacking when you guys were attacking. So, uh, again, it helps if I don't roll the die that I'm counting the bogeys on. You know what? Let me just use a different die. That's how, that's... That sounds smart. It is. It is. See? <laughs> Alright, so, creature attacks. The... Here we go. Ooh. They have something called an exploding tail. I'm like, is it Friday already? That happens when I eat spicy food. Mm. <laughs> uh, one of them, Glitch, lashes out at your neck with its with its wing. They all dive downward. No, thank and you. You see when it comes out, it is razor sharp along here. And that's the wing that you boom, catch it in <laughs> and narrowly misses. Um, 
one comes at you, Tark, um, uh, and almost certainly hits because it's sixty under. Do you have anything that can stop sixty under? Uh, no. Um, it hits you. Five is center mass, right? Uh, yes. That's right. Hits you center mass again on the before mitigation or anything for mm-hmm. thirteen damage. Okay. In eight structural integrity. Okay. On, so the, it, on the chest, right? On the chest. Uh, I will. That can be the one that I will say that you are allowed to hit back. Uh, but it definitely, you all see the wing like rakes against him. Like, okay. Dark. Um. Uh, it's good. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, and then one of the remaining ones also almost certainly misses um, at glitch. Glitch uh, again, because what what is your dodge mitigation? Uh, um, fifty-nine. It was only nine under, so it missed. Yeah. Um, and Ace, uh, this one is almost certainly going to hit you. What was your dodge mitigation? Because it's sixty under. Do you have is your dodge more than sixty? No, it's 17. Cool. Uh, and it hits you for 13 points of damage. Ooh, so uh, my body point is 6. Well, what is the threshold of your armor? So that's the first thing. Uh, so this this game has a system called uh, Tab. It uh, it very much is uh, matching up weapons against armor, because some weapons are better against some armor and vice versa. Your, wep- your armor has a threshold, how hard it is to even get through. Then it's got an absorption underneath before it gets to you, and then it gets to your body and hurts you. So what is the threshold of your armor? Does it hit me in the head or in the body? The head. Oh, okay. My threshold's 42 on my helmet. Head. So it comes down right at your face, Ace, and boom, bang! <laughs> but it's like you barely feel it. The money on this helmet was like well spent. It's like when it knocks your head back, because again, it's a huge creature. It's almost like you get like a gentle massage like in the back team. of your skull. Is that a bear and, MBA? And like, yeah. And, and, you know, and, and it like you, you kind of get like a recording that like plays like positive messages. You're just like, no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Just, <laughs> maybe next time, duck, but we got you. It's fine. I'm like, oh, this is great. This is yeah. great. Do it yeah. again. Do just, it again. Just mm-hmm. happy little accidents. You know? <laughs> oh. uh, it's like a gentle brain massage. Yeah. Yes, and the two proceeded to be destroyed, as I said. Tark, you are absolutely able to swing at this one that I'm, swung at you. I am um, approximately 100 under. Again, its oh, mitigation 100. will not help. Yep. Yeah. Because its range range is 40. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's it's point blank. It's range one. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah. range mm-hmm. one. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, not that much damage. I did the least amount of damage I can do, so, um, 18. <laughs> yeah, we're being very subtle. We're passing sneaky notes. <laughs> we're passing sneaky notes. Uh, how much time? Eight damage. Uh, eight damage, uh, is not enough to kill it. Sorry, uh, sorry, no, 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 oh, no, no. I think you meant anyway, more than eight. Yeah, no, it was, uh, 18. 18. Oh, yeah, it's right. like eight, eight but much more so. damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is a, like not it, enough to kill it, but it also better. is enough to crit. So um, give me your hit location and roll on the appropriate crit table. Where is the crit? All right, so uh, it's a four, which is... Um, it is actually in the quick start guide. I mean, it's in both, but it's probably easier to find in the yeah. quick start guide. It is on uh, PDF page 18 of the quick start guide. Okay. Again, quick start guide available for free. Drive through RPT. Yep. Um, so I rolled a four, <laughs> so that's uh, that's um, center mass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, four is an arm. Is four is an arm, or it's going to be a wing in this case. Yep. Uh, roll a d10. All right. Oh, I rolled it wrong. Nine. 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 Um, you have broken its wing. It... <laughs> so, uh, two of them are... Uh, well, no, I guess two were destroyed. Two are still up. I would say you hit the one that uh, Glitch is already shot, so it is on the ground, and one is still in the air. Um, and now, yeah. is, now here's a question. Will I be able to have a second shot at it? Because that was technically only one action. It's only two seconds. I would say, is this like, you're like, yeah, 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 So then by. I'll, I'll yep. try to swing. I'll just basically go, mm-hmm. um, I, I am going to make this one a called shot, though, okay. at its head. Okay. Uh, I rolled significantly less, mm-hmm. so I hit. And it is tw- oh, it's tw- remember it's a 20, 20 penalty. Yeah, no, I rolled a 40 last time. I rolled a 20 this time, so. Ah, <laughs> that is a thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that is seven 
Um, plus 16. So that would be 23 damage uh, to its head. So it... <laughs> and then plummets to the ground. So there is only one that is still up. Um, and that brings us to Sketch. Uh, so, yeah, basically I'm just trying to keep the, the, the ship steady. Mm -hmm. Um, also, uh, have you guys, I, I don't know, because I did ask if you need to be any closer or move. I mean, you very much can see, boom, 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 boom. Like, it's, it's very clear to you what's happening. I'm at a very comfy range, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, then I'm just going to try to keep her steady. Mm-hmm. I uh, rolled a, a 37, which is... Some... Real good. <laughs> I, I feel like as the one kind of like falls to the ground in front of you, you're sort of like... <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> this, is, this is ground vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I rolled a 37, which is 88 under. Uh, again, it's silky smooth, and Thumper Jr. is amazed, quite frankly. She's like, no, 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 you're gonna... Oh, 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 okay, all right. <laughs> You know, how did you even manage to wait? What? Like this? This ride ain't even got eighth gear. How did you? What? I'm also I'm giggling the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, balance on top of the vehicle's not even moved. Just... Yeah, yeah. Like, mm, well, mm, oh, well, she got that one. Yeah. Uh, and we are back around two thumper. Then there is one left. Uh, and I got two actions left. <laughs> so let's take shot number three. Oh yes. Yeah, so, oh well, they you cannot. Uh, oh. Hmm? I would like to use one of my actions to put music out on the comms. Something as, as dramatically appropriate. Some sort of John Will williams esque song. John Williams when he's ripping off Stravinsky or John Williams when he's ripping off Holst? Yes. Never mind. Um, first of all, put some respect on John Williams' name, okay? Um, <laughs> Good artist, Barra. <laughs> Great question. artist, Steel. John Williams. I will verify something, but my understanding is if you bank them to dodge, then you do not still get to shoot. So you, there's a snap. Uh, oh, the snapshot. Snapshot. Yes, yes then yes. What, minus 40, 40? I believe. Yes. Minus 40? Yes, then you can do your negative 40 snapshot with your remaining things. Uh, Again, this question. is one of those things well, that well, I may tell you this something is, very This is just a later. rule question I'm curious mm -hmm. about. So it's a minus 40 for snapshot, but then do you also take the range or the multiple attack penalty? You do. So you is do that a minus round. 80? Yeah. Yeah, so this would, this would be, yeah, it, it minus 80. For hey, well, shot. <laughs> uh, minus 60, because it'd be, uh, the first one was no oh, penalty, yes, the yes, second yes, shot was negative yes. 20, the third shot would be negative 40. All right, what range, I rolled a, I rolled a 13, oh, so what, what range band is it at? It's, it still would have been range band one, because it was like, you know. Okay, so minus 80 for all the bad stuff, mm -hmm. 70 for the range band, mm -hmm. means only a minus 10 on top of that. Mm-hmm. So that brings me to, I rolled a 13, mm -hmm. my skill in this weapon is 146. Oh, that <laughs> is still enough. Yeah. Yeah, so you're like, boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> same thing, do you do the, the average? 50 damage. <laughs> no, Thumper, this was money well spent, man. This, oh, was, love this, one. this was money I well spent. I love you and your two friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the creatures are defeated. And you see the structure coming into view up ahead as you are nearly approaching your destination. And are it is okay? quiet. I'm fine. Too quiet. I'm always fine. There is a giant gash across the front of his armor. Okay, but you're hurt. I, I mean, it, the armor's hurt. Yeah. I'm fine. We okay. live! Let's celebrate! Yes. No, your very masculinity is fully intact, but uh, Ace, can you help him, please? Paul, pa 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 are you okay? Of course I'm all right. No, Paul, I saw what you did out there, Paul. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's right, that's right. She's like, I, done I told all you, I told you. I'm going to text it to all my brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts and uncles. That you should do. Yeah, woo. Could you could you could you loop me in on that chain? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, not to be a part of your personal business, but do you really want them on the same chain as you on a, a text message? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, when they ask for alimony, mm -hmm. he pops up and goes, "Is anybody hurt? Does anybody need?" Yes, anything? Tark is hurt. Are you hurt, or is it just your armor? I mean, I'm not bleeding, but 
and I like I, I un- unclasp like the chest piece, and you can see that there's a, a gash uh, across my chest, but it's not bleeding. Uh, and that's just as over time you've realized that that's because of Aradani, and I'm holding it in. Yeah, I smack him on the back of his arms. That's only because uh, you don't want it to be bleeding. That doesn't mean you're not hurt, and you don't need ace. Why? Why don't we get you patched up? You know, it's it's really hard to tell as a physician when I need to fix you if you keep playing tough guy all the time. I'm just gonna like sometimes you gotta ask for help when you need it. We you just have to ask have for the best help. Interest See, at heart. This, just this, the best you interest. You can't just hold it in all the time. This is why I don't it. ask for help because I get like ten people telling me how I should behave. Now either you can patch you. me up or you don't. It's fine. We can figure it out. I'm I want you to live and do up. more sword guy stuff. Uh, with the don't leave me alone with them. Do I need the that one? I'll agree for on. this, or do I need a uh, physician skill for this? Did you actually take any personal damage? Yeah, the I attack? took eight. Uh, <laughs> then uh, yeah. you could uh, you could actually just use one of your BRIs, one of your injections, and just roll the roll the healer. I also have a first aid kit if you want to use that instead to not mess with your inventory. I would like you all to know here is how here is how cutting edge we are on this and this is true and I really love this I literally just got a new edition of the game just now so hey there you go we'll be switching over momentarily when we go to break so when we come back it might be like so that thing we were doing is not a thing anymore yeah there you go uh it's plus 2d4 that I roll and the uh bri heals for five cool hey Start. Do you do you need another one or do you you feeling feeling a little better? I have on a scale of one to twenty or one to twenty five, I'm a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're gonna be all right. Everybody else good also, by the way. Love a man with a disintegrator ray. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it does make him look a lot taller. It does. It does. The legs are I little am bit, tall. I mean I am tall. Like the death ray. <laughs> no, that's true, you are tall now. I've been tall. For at least a week. Thumper Jr. looks over at you, Sketch, and says, Well, are, are we driving just right on up to this place? Am I stopping outside of town? Like, how do y'all want to do I this? I should take a scout. Same. All right, let's uh, pull it aside. Is it, is it like, what's the landscape like? It is, it is uh, largely flat every once in a while. There's just kind of like rocky outcroppings. Uh, Love this, an outcropping. I would like to pull behind an outcropping. At this stage in the alliance, in an for the unnecessarily, like, difficult way. Like full Ace Ventura, like just like slide it in. Power type slide. Right power right. slide. I mean, I was, yeah, yes, the... powers. I was thinking more Fast and Furious rather than Ace Ventura, but yeah, you know that. I was At thinking. this stage in the alliance, Tokyo Drift style. Tokyo is not a real place. Um, <laughs> at this stage in the Alliance expansion, that any world that is not completely already claimed and exploited is kind of terrible. So it's everywhere. Nice is long since claimed. So most of these frontier worlds where people are just trying to make something happen mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. usually are not too enjoyable. Ain't nobody got part. time to terraform. Uh, Glitch, actually everyone who wants to take a look, because you are, I would say, uh, roughly uh, a click out from the from the facility when you pull things over, can make an observation check. All right. Uh, can I use a tactical evaluation instead? You absolutely can. I don't know, there's nope. still something wrong with these infrared goggles. Have you successfully rolled the disbelieve again? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah right. I did. No, yeah. I, I would like to search for, for local comms, you know, like if somebody's using, like, there's a group of people using, like, walkies or something. Yeah. I have a transmission detector. When? When we can, well, we can do that as well. I mean, if you want. <laughs> Those <laughs> dice are in time. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So I'd, I'd be used, it's an equipment. All right, so what's the bonus? You're there? like, you just it's, see red everywhere. Like, it doesn't yeah, make sense. Like, you're like, okay, so everything's red now. I don't... What even? What oh. even is this? You know what it is? You know yeah, what it is? So the instructions are in freaking Galactic Comet. That's what it's always been. It's always the issue. You're like, what does this even say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and my earpiece only translates what I hear, not what I see. So yeah, yeah. yeah you're like, you thought you're like, no, this is glitch. Out. You, you saw a glitch was doing it, and it just you, what? Um, yes. I rolled a hundred and nineteen below for comms. That bizarre crackling noise you heard before has stopped. Ugh. The secret comms are no longer calming. Or are they agitating? 
Um, I am 128 under. For your observation? Yes. Um, how are you searching? Uh, with the multispectral binoculars, I've sort of popped back out of the moon roof, and I'm, I'm actually actively trying to stay as far away from everybody else who's trying to look so that I don't have too much interference. <laughs> so it's like you're, you're trying not to do a bad... Yeah, um, I know that technically they're all still in the bubble of bad, but I, I, I'm trying. So I just, I pop up on the moon roof. Um, as you pop up and you are looking up along the walls of the facility, you see uh, a humanoid shape, a large humanoid shape that has binoculars that is basically looking in the direction that you all were. Mm. And you see another person standing there with a very large rifle that is kind of pointed out. And you hear, mm. and you wheel the binoculars around and you see one of the creatures that was still on the ground, its head explodes. Ooh, that was a good shot. Uh, uh, someone hand me their flashlight real quick. Uh, I want to start morsing out uh, boss uh, to the binoculars. I'm going to click, 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 click. Yeah. So you see the person turn and then... <laughs> and that's a good place for us to go to break. <laughs> so we will be back in just a minute for Glitch to surely not be about to get their head blown off. I mean, pro Probably. Most likely not about to get their head blown off. I mean, that will be an aggression roll from Target. <laughs> 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 he just pulls out. Come back and hold the whole necromancy. Exactly. Again. It was. <laughs> I just see. Uh, oh, what what was it? It was um, it was it was one of those like um, '80s parody movies where the dudes running towards the castle. And they're waiting. No, it's it's uh, it's still Money Python. When uh, when, when he attacks, he's like running, 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 and they're just looking at him and running, 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 running. And he's still just, and then running, 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 and then he's just there, like <laughs> like that's yep. that'll that'll be Tark. That'll be Tark. Moment. But it won't because I won't get hurt. It's true. No, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. But first, a break. Right a break. Back. I hit the wrong thing. I'm doing it wrong. Ah, no. Get help. Somebody
And we are back with Glitch. You click the flashlight, click, 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 click. The person turned, and rolled, quite frankly, spectacularly. Um, <clears throat> a 10 is the best you can possibly do in this game, and they rolled a 12. Is it ignoring the flux shield on the vehicle? Uh, it is not shooting the vehicle. It is shooting them. But they are in the vehicle. <laughs> uh, the, the whole thing with the birds, that did not come into effect with by the shooting or receiving damage. So I'm going to say no, it does not affect I the was, flux shield. Oh. I was ducked at least this much out of the moonroof to use binoculars. Oh, wow. So it'll be against my helmet. Which I'm sure is fine. Believe it or not, it is not necessarily against your helmet. Uh, How would it not be against their helmet? Because they didn't necessarily take a call shot. Yeah. Uh, I think we're saying I'm I'm cover otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, you've they got three quarters. 115 cover. under their skills, so they're just gonna put a bullet wherever they want to. Really. Uh, let's see. Well, um, what is the threshold of your armor? Uh, I believe it is 12 for my body armor. Uh, for your helmet, though? No, my not the helmet. For my it, does, helmet. It, does not hit them in, it does not hit them in the Unless head. Unless they bump. Okay. You know what? We're 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 gonna go crazy and let fate decide. Here. You could bump though. Mm. Oh yeah, defensive bump. I'd like to bump. Uh, you can in fact defensive. But bump. that is quite a call to make. <laughs> do I do I take a shot to the chest or the face? Do I make the shot go to my head? Uh, they, is current, currently, they will hit you center mass. Cool. So, uh, um, oh, boy. Uh, you know, I don't... So, what this defensive bump thing is, this was not a mechanic that was in the first episode because their skill was not high enough. Well, defensive bumps were. Now they have offensive bumps. So, to reflect the fact that your skill is higher, you have some ability to manipulate both where you hit your target or where you are hit when someone tries to shoot you. Yeah. I'm going to bump it to my helmet. To, you can live point, dangerous. I'm going to point it to your face. Also, yeah. live safely? Is it, that's we'll find out. Safely. I don't know. What? I'm high risk, high risk. Have faith in your gear. What is the threshold brave. on your helmet? 42. <laughs> Which is so very different than 12. Fine. You're like, click, 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 bam! And it still hurts. Like, it very much keeps your head intact, and you all see Glitch comes tumbling back down uh, the walkway and hits the floor just in a heap. Ace! Ace! Yeah. Deal with this. <clears throat> all right, all right. What do you What do you need? Let's see. Those are not friendlies. Those are, are oh, not got, friendlies. That's not possible. What's going on back there, buddy? I got shot in the head. Who? Um, is your head okay? Is it still attached to your I'm body? I'm talking. All right. So that that's a good sign. It's a good sign. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna check them to see. Mm. Yeah. There's... The helmet held. Like very much. There's a there is a, like a giant mm. black streak where basically it was center mass, which you recognize Glitch was a spectacular shot because you were like, click, 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 click. And I mean, it's right mm -hmm. there. Uh, right in under, the clicker. Yeah, right in the clicker. Under different set of circumstances. <clears throat> no, it, instant huh. death. Glad yeah. I shelled off for that one. Haas. <laughs> yes? You hear. Oh. And you're like, <clears throat> and you look down and you were tied up, hands and feet. Well, fantastic. Um, cool, cool, cool. Do you have a skate artist? Uh, I have a power <laughs> I would like to use. Let me figure out what it's called. All right. Well, you tell uh, tell me when magic. you have it. Meanwhile, inside, <laughs> I got magic. inside use magic house. the transport, what are you all doing? What is the official name of your vehicle? I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Uh... Officially, it is an armored infantry transport archetype. Yeah, it's archetype. a skimmer. But it is a ground vehicle. What is, but what the is the skimmer. name? Yeah, does it have a or is that the name? Because there uh, was the Ripley and all that stuff, you know. No, it's the it's the it's the Playboy. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't call it the truck. Oh, the, play, the Playboy. Oh, because you're a bunny. Well, meanwhile, inside <laughs> the skimmer, yes, glitch, <laughs> otherwise unharmed. Uh, uh, glitch. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> glitch. Yeah? The moment of coming face to face with your imminent mortality yeah? and being replaced. Yeah? The making you kind of lose control a little oh, bit. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I'm sorry. Ace, okay. as you are working on them, you feel all of the hair on your head begin to sort of like stand up a little bit. Thumper, you again are like. <laughs> 
And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's sorry, fine. Sorry. It's okay, fine, buddy. Nothing. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I'm weak in the knees. Uh, yes. Thumper. <laughs> Thumper, it is true. When you the your targeting light eye goes out, your newly improved legs, you all see Thumper very much spaghetti leg. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give the controls over to Junior mm-hmm. and run to where... Uh, it, they very bridges. much are like, what is going on back here? We're losing it. Wait, where are you going? Just, ja- uh, just and the, every light on the dashboard. Body. Yep. Body. Yeah, I thought I was fine. You're. I thought it's, I was fine. I thought I was fine. fine. You are fine. I am. We're I know fine. I am. We're I fine. I don't know why I'm not fine. Buddy, I should be fine. We are fine. Why aren't we're I fine? fine? We're fine. I know that. Look at me. We're fine. I know that. Why am I still glitching? Just breathe. Just breathe. <gasps> Ah! <laughs> I like it when you're glitchy too, because that is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at them, they're all fuzzy. Ace, you do I'm feel fine, the I'm giggles fine. coming on when you. Well, I've been laughing a long time already. So when the whole this fluffy down. spaghetti leg <clears throat> cyborg killing machine sort of like. <laughs> It was really only the A grab on my on my belt and the weapon that kept me upright. I will be I will be truthful. I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, I, I know it's just it's your nature. It's all it's all right. I'm just I'm gonna go sit over here and be sick. This you is spice no, things up. This in Thumper. This is nothing like what happened on uh, Aaron Twelve that one time. So no, not at all. <laughs> that was a unique experience. I Glitch. know to stand farther away now. Glitch. Yeah. What direction did they come from? Where did the shot come from? Focus. North by northwest. Is there an exit on this vehicle on the opposite side of that? Oh, yeah. Mm. You can deploy out of any direction. (laughs) Glitch, (laughs) let's get you outside. Let's get you some air. Multi-deployable. And let's see what we can find out. Yeah, we need to scout recon anyway. Mm -hmm. So who is deploying going scouting and who is staying inside for the time being? Scouting. I'll go scouting. You're going to go scouting? Uh, I'd like to scout. Well, maybe we should split up into two teams. Are you even able to stand up right now? <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm good. If I get out. <laughs> if I get out. Flex. <laughs> he is absolutely swole. Like, vein poppingly swole. Yeah. Does he, when he resets, does he have, like, a, a some noises and music that go off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, Marketing system online. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. like her. <laughs> she talks in my head sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It's just a couple minutes. It does like. <clears throat> ah, okay. All right. Um, yeah. I would like to do a quick scan of the ship, <clears throat> of the skimmer, uh, if being very familiar with with glitch, I know exactly which systems to check to make sure they're in working order. Uh, it was kind of worse this time, which betrays just how freaked out your friend was, really. Uh, if you had been in an active combat situation, it would have been borderline catastrophic. But here, kind of safely behind cover, you're sort of able to like, okay, hold on, baby, you know, just, <laughs> no, don't go doing that, don't start out there. <laughs> you know, you're like, yeah, bit that plasma, all right, you're good, you're good. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also going to show Thump, uh, Junior some tricks on uh, if, if this happens again. What She's like, you, uh, the, you are a mad woman. You cannot reroute the fuel injectors through the carbonator. Oh, it ejects the fire out the sides. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, Ace, you were saying something also. Uh, I would like to uh, look outside and like observe around and see with the terrestrial knowledge if I am... As a traveler in pursuit of medical experience, have I heard anything about this planet or anything that would be of interest to us? You can make your terrestrial knowledge check to see what you know about the planet. Classy. Did you de- de- figure out your power thumper? Yes. Mm-hmm. I would like to teleport. That's what it's called. Such it's a called simple tele- name. <laughs> you had to look that up. I, I thought I was that, but. Okay. Right. That's what they call it. It's just standard uh, teleportation. As, as far as you can tell, <laughs> again, you are bound uh, hand and foot, and you do not see any of your possessions. Teleport you are on just them. completely <laughs> naked. Uh, you still have your undergarments on, but That's like uh, everything else is gone. 
Teleport uh, back into your armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are in what looks like some sort of like adobe brick structure. Uh, again, you know this was a, a frontier colony. It was built by Orayans. Mm. Uh, they have ceased transmitting, which is you all were sent here to find out what happened to them. Uh, the last thing you remember is you were coming down in your own personnel pod and started taking heavy fire. And you tapped into one of these abilities that, quite frankly, you as a fought are not supposed to possess. I still don't understand them completely. <laughs> we, it, doesn't, it does not make any sense, man. And then Muzakins, they keep inspecting you and poking and prodding you and trying to figure out why you can do these things mm. and just... You're magic, But honey. you hit it, and you don't remember anything until this exact second. You were just kind of like, death is imminent. Smoke them if you got them. Boop! Well, <laughs> you know? Fire. Right. And then now... <laughs> You woke up completely bound. And in my undergarments. Mm -hmm. All right. And yes, I would like to teleport right on out. Uh, what does Thumper look like, by the way? Thumper? Hoss? Well, Thumper. Hoss, sorry, Hoss. What does Hoss look <laughs> like? like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the last time you saw me, he was uh, a lot shorter. Hoss? He looks exactly the same. Just tall, black, fur, like fur, with uh, red eyeballs. He got a mm -hmm. flame in the center of his head. Goes down, got a white nose, muzzle thing going on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about it. And you are also a fought, which is a rabid person. I'm a big so rabid you, person. Did you make your matrix controller check to see if the power works? Because each one has its I own actually, thing. Really, actually, it's, it's, it's a generation skill. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how that works. Uh, like everything else. So it's uh, probably half of your intelligence plus your skill. Five ranks per, five percent per rank of the skill. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, 59. Uh, what is your skill? Uh, 65. So you're like, oh! <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, and I will say, even though you were trying to shake the ropes, you managed to leave behind the leg ropes, but your hands are still bound. <laughs> That's perfect. Yep. Uh, were you, was, my was, 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 your, was your goal to teleport within this room to shake the ropes or outside of this room? Uh, I would like to, I can apparently go two kilometers in any direction. Okay. And not into solid objects. Okay. So I would like to do that two kilometers away. <laughs> Just to get a Two bear. kilometers from where you were, mm -hmm. we will let fate decide if you go towards your friends, away from your <laughs> friends. I While got some good naked scouting and bound. skills. Mm -hmm. So, you know. And no gear. No the, best, gear. the best thing about him being I'll naked just is just my fur. Thumper! Oh. <laughs> oh, I hear you! My incredible hearing! <laughs> As you all are sort of moving out of the. I can fly uh, too, and actually. we will come back to your terrestrial. What did you get for your terrestrial knowledge check? Um, for terrestrial knowledge, uh, 98. I, I, like, I don't know anything about this place. Never this can, it can be anywhere. Girl, you know, like, you know they're wrong better. better. Do, you need, yeah. observation. do you need new dice? Or? Well, what I saw. Do you want to no, use my in, dice? In, if I can. in a different system, you'd be rolling spectacularly. Magnificent. Right. Yes. Which is, it worked out well during stat generation. This all went well. And then it has not done well. Right. It, it since. forgot to switch. Yeah, so then. Low numbers are good in this game, you all. There's a lot of dice going to dice. Uh, so terrestrial knowledge, you're like, you know this planet sucks. This That's is a you know. You're like, why is anyone here? Right. Yeah. Did roll for observation <clears throat> as well, which was 27 under 75. As you were like, no, Cressé. Oh, no, I knew Cressor. Wait, this isn't on any map. And you see a naked rabbit. Running across the plains. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Thumper, yeah. help me! He is very fast, though. <laughs> I, I whistle. I whistle as loud as I can. You hear, yeah, this, again, you all have been together many years now. Like, you know the, oh, <laughs> that is mm. the, <laughs> oh, you know exactly where it is. Thumper! I want to keep eyes on, uh, the sniper that I know is there <laughs> as the naked man oh, runs across the plane. Please take shots at me. <laughs> no, you'll be fully murdered. I know, but I'm just naked yeah. rabbit running. Yeah. <laughs> dodge yes. So like you all see him too. I thought the wing to the helmet earlier just might have set me off course and see it like a half naked bunny running through a field. Okay, all right. So that is, that's Hoss, guys, right? Yeah. I'm going to run out and meet him. Cover me. What? All right. What? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, uh, Thumper, what do you do? I gotta run out and help a friend. Uh, Thumper is 
astonishingly fast, honestly. Like, you knew he was fast? Not fast enough, because I just rolled a one. <laughs> Stop oh, it! Stop oh, it! Oh, Stop it. You all, Y'all like, should switch dice. Thumper kind of uh, hops out the back of the transport and it's like, I'm coming, buddy! And it's like, <laughs> what is it like? Metal feet across the plane. Uh, and I'm doing you a sincere favor, uh, Hoss, because if the sniper had chosen to shot you, you'd be absolutely dead right he, now. He well, I appreciate you, God. To dodge. Uh, oh, yeah. No, uh, well, I mean, on a one, he's not gonna. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah, yeah, I'm quite like, fast. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, again, you'd be shot. And since yeah. you're currently unarmored, you would be dead. Uh, my choice. What, what is the threshold? <laughs> um, oh, well, let's see where. Well, I got flux. I got my personal flux field first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then, and then you want. Which your personal flux field does what? No flux given. Uh, no flux given. All the flux. Or in this all case, the most flux, flux, flux are given. given. No, you keep them like all like for yourself. It's, uh, a, it's a flux They don't get any three. flux kept. Mm-hmm. I have Installed no flux Installed in my do. armor. Mm. Doesn't the flux shield only work against lasers? Don't quote me on that, internet. I could be wrong. But I feel like a flux shield works against a certain type of weapon. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got a force shield. <laughs> yeah, because a force shield is a different kind of weapon. Again, that's kind of the give and take of this game. Of like, you know, I'm really good protecting against this. I'm really good attacking against that. Um, but, uh, and then what is the threshold of your armor? Uh, all right. The threshold of my armor is... 17. Uh, that is a 20. So three points of it go through to the absorption. It is a solid slug. So you all like, in Sam, or sorry, Glitch, while you are watching, you're like, there's nobody, there's nobody, there's nobody, and then, bah, like almost Ooh. impossibly fast. Oh, shit, the person really good. comes up and does it. And Thumper, again, you know just how fast you're moving, and you still feel just center mass. I was trying to serpentine. <laughs> Just bang! Ah, for uh, three points, make it through to the absorption. But I, I Ooh, don't from the torso. To do mm-hmm. on this, on uh, the but you do, uh, you do catch up to your friend at that exact second. But you are quite clear that you all are out in the open with an active gunner. I would like to move the ship to block them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Is it, yeah. is it my turn? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you you, you right. have arrived, and it's Hoss. He is naked, and his hands are bare. Oh, thumper. Well, my my armor, and uh, I have an, an extra uh, a, a grab belt. Mm-hmm. I want to pick him up like a football mm-hmm. and just start running for cover. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can, you, I, can you I do something as well? Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I would like no. to turn us invisible. My powers. I mm-hmm. rolled a forty-seven. Uh, <laughs> so you like thumper, and you pick him up, and you all see. They're gone. <laughs> okay. Well, well, now how am I supposed to cover well, him if he's gone? I don't know where he is. <laughs> well, I had already started moving oh, yeah, the ship, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm just gonna move it to where they were, w- keeping in mind that they were moving. Mm-hmm. Um, I rolled a 23 under uh, uh, 135. Uh, you all see the skimmer comes out from behind cover. So Tark and Ace and Glitch had already departed the vessel. Yes. Mm-hmm. So as the ship, as the skimmer starts moving over towards them, who disappear in front of all of you, what do you do, Tark? This is perfect. Let's go. Yeah. This yeah. is a great distraction. Yeah. We, mm-hmm. I, I want to move. If they're distracted that way. Yep. We're moving in the other direction. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're going to try to ideally flank and then get up. I appreciate yeah. you have like the Aridani speaking kill squad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're all speaking Aridani right now. I've <laughs> taken some skill points uh, in speaking the same language that Tark does because we're buddies. Because it turns out uh, you can glitch your buddy cybernetics, but you can't glitch a sword. Mm-hmm. It's still made of sword. Um, mm-hmm. Would you like us to roll stealth? I would or... all three of you to make your stealth checks. I have also taken some points in Eridani, but not enough to be fluent. Just enough to understand exclamations <laughs> <laughs> and to try to say things very poorly. Mm-hmm. To uh, try to say things very poorly. I rolled... What, what, what did you need? I needed 50. Ooh, boy. Mm-hmm. I rolled 72 below. Really? Because you're stealth. I thought you. I thought you oh, was it ten? Fifty no, percent? No, no, no. So plus half of your agility. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, seventy-two below. Mm-hmm. So 
Yeah, it's 37, and then you scroll back down, so it's 87 is your stop. Okay, 74, mm -hmm. right. 87. Right. So yeah, this is 87. Oh, because if you're at level 10, you're then so that's amazing, an additional man. 50 points. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're so swole. All right. Sign of thumbs. I've been working right. out. 109 <laughs> below. So the two of them literally vanish. The three of you metaphorically vanish. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> and I just come out. Smoke bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. It's sexual. It's Yay. Welcome aboard. Um, it's all the fingers. Yes. So the, three of, so the two of you well, who are invisible but are very much for still there and see the skimmer coming your direction. What are the two of you going to do? Because again, you are carrying him like. And the side door is open from where... That's where I'm headed. That's my end zone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have you to hear. deliver the package. <laughs> Over the columns. Paul! Paul! Hold what on, they I'm, done done to you, Paul? I'm bringing in Hoss! Just... Uh, we can't see you, Paul! Where'd you go? What? You, you've I'm, gone running, a, I'm running you, right at you! You've gone a bit invisible. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have powers I don't even know I have! I, I, don't you, think they're yours! Paul, you are moving so fast, you are no longer in the visible spectrum! <laughs> I'm amazing! Uh, <laughs> keep your current heading! <laughs> Alright, uh, you all are able to approach the facility from what would be the uh, on the map that I sent you all, um, which is like a like a installation, basically, a, a settlement that has been built here. It has, uh, again, walls uh, all around it. Uh, there are a couple of entry points. They are mostly made out of like a, uh, almost like a, um, like a clay, essentially, that they've essentially been able to harvest uh, locally. Uh, there are a lot of like wooden structures, even though you haven't seen trees as such, which is weird, uh, but it is a fairly low tech setup, Ooh. which again, you Arrayans know, they might have meant it ironically. They're like, we're roughing it on the frontier. How rusty. Space mm -hmm. hipsters. How rusty. Literally space hipsters. Space Ooh, hipsters. hipsters. That'll be the name of episode three. <laughs> yeah. <It's been> <laughs> uh, yes, and you all are approaching from the north side, which is the top of the map. The, the three of us are? Yes. Are approaching from the mm -hmm. north side? Okay. Uh, where on the Ooh. map have I uh, That's like the best side of the where I've seen the gunner take shots? On that wall from the north. Um, right. You know, right. there's a small structure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically there. And you don't see them again. When they initially shot, two of them were just standing there. Yeah. And then when they took the shot at you, they took cover. And yeah. then the person with the gun basically popped up to uh, try and notch Thumber and has disappeared again. <clears throat> so I would like you to currently do not see anyone on the walls of this place. I would like to keep as close to like the rock formations as soon as we and then basically run it across to get up against the wall. Okay. Yeah, I'd you love to come in from the west. You mm -hmm. notice as you all get close to the walls, there are like security lights on the outside, but again, they're not like huge spotlights or <laughs> anything. It was more like light to see, not necessarily light for security. So the security lights aren't for security? Oh. What I mean is they're not like spotlights, like a jail sure. or a prison or something. I mean, they're just like <laughs> mounted lights. Yeah, they're for, for visual mm -hmm. yeah. They're called security lights because they belong to the security, not because they themselves exactly. are driving right. security. Right. 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 But they make you feel better. That's right. Right. They make you secure. feel secure. I don't think that's true. Yes. Like a blanket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> security. Mm -hmm. I actually have a blanket. Mace is going to follow Tark. I think I have a... Scanner for uh, nearby security devices. Okay, roll it. So, let's see. I think that uh, would that be observation based then? Uh, physical security checks. There we go. Okay, that. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, once they get on board, well, when do you turn visible again, or do you? It has a thirty-minute duration. <laughs> <laughs> but so, you can turn it off. We. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> You all hear boom, 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 boom. Doesn't you know, tell me, actually, the, to be honest. Again, again uh, you know, Thumper is made out of metal now, so when his feet hit the deck, you boom, boom, like, you know, and he's not exactly quiet, so. Can I see Haas? You can see Haas, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, all right, hey, buddy, Thumper. we need to get you some gear. I don't know, I'm naked You can't be out there in your skimmers. <laughs> I agree. How'd you get in there? What happened to your weapons? They bonked me on the head. I woke up naked. Oh, they're the kinky kind. Yeah, I would especially like it. <laughs> All right, well, what's your flavor? What you want? <laughs> Wait, what do we have here? Uh, uh, your stuff is missing, so they have... Uh, oh, you're naked. Here, here, you, can, you can borrow one of my guns. <laughs> uh, what do you... How about this, uh, this, uh, this Devastator? 
We buy the same weapons all the time. <laughs> all right, then you are familiar with I'm this. Like, I'm very familiar. I'm all right, I'm, I'm loaning in <laughs> my, my Omega. I, I hate to interrupt this reunion here, Haas, but you you got some of your 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 fancy magic things going on, and we, we can't see you. Uh, and as much as most of the members of the well, party I can see would me. appreciate yeah, right that, uh, it just makes things a little difficult. If you could turn that off, or do you... Uh, no, it's fine. Just You do happen to know that with no armor, if you get shot, you will almost certainly die. Well, luckily, they can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> You're you in a ship, so that's good well, too. I'm, I'm undetected well, by like everything. In sketch, now that they are on board, where do you go? Uh, if you notice on the map again, there are small like uh, like a little like kind of like almost access road that goes kind of there along the top, and there's also one that goes along the south side. Well, my uh, cohorts have gone to the north. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's pull up this map. Yeah, Where did you? Oh. In the chat. Ooh, too many chats. <laughs> too many With Junior's technology. Mm-hmm. With Junior's armor fit, uh, Haas. Maybe your old armor. Daddy, you that is told <laughs> me that this is mine and that I had earned it to keep me alive after Thumpers 4 through 11 did not return from your gallivanting adventures. I know, I know, but <clears throat> I, I, I was worried about your uncle and he's going to be out there in the field, whereas you are staying in the pond. I I have some armor that that Junior can wear, my old armor. All right, all right. So let's musical chairs on the armor and and get you out of the field. I agree. She very much is like huffy, like no, this dang daddy takes stuff back. You just supposed to. I didn't didn't want to come in the first place. It's all it's all personalized. Her yeah. armor. Oh yeah, no, it's all it, it's like it's got but, graphics all yeah, over. No, but it's like but it's like metal though. You know, like she's very much into like Chatelain synth pop. You know, like super brutal stuff. Like there's a Chatelain band called the Zazens, which they mean ironically. Mm. Um, but it is like, uh, yeah. It's dope. Not necessarily there's also, there's Does also it disappear Lumber as soon as he puts it on? Says, says, My daddy is a lieutenant colonel yes, in it's the a, SSDC. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know him. Well, that's <laughs> right. It's me. It's me. <laughs> you. My daddy. That's right. a student. Mm-hmm. That's my own daddy. a new fun little trick you've got. What? <laughs> right. Also, sketch. Mm. You've been a lot of places. That should not be possible. You see the little watermelon headed, like the Munsakins, they do that kind of stuff all the time, but like, he's a fot. Right, but I mean, we've been aware of it, yeah? Nope, but this is, is new. This entirely no. new. I'm not even aware of it till no. right now. Oh, oh all right. I, I always realize. knew you had magic. I, I always knew I was special. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I just, I don't, okay. Right. All right, so they've gone to the... Specifically on a meta level, usually we would just play this out. But again, mention those those charts you could roll on for just random things. It just so happens that Haas the Fought has access to some of the Matrix powers that usually I, are prohibited to his race. I'm incredibly powerful. <laughs> mm-hmm. So where are you heading? I'm gonna come to them. What is so? What's what's y'all's plan at this point? You all hear that? Uh, right now our plan is to get in and take them out. You rolled a tactical uh, knowledge at one point. Did I ever tell you what that what, what your what the tactical evaluation? Were? No, but I also super don't remember what I wrote. Uh, feel free to roll it again. Okay, because uh, you, you did say you were going to do it, and we never resolved. It. I got a ninety-seven under uh, to detect the like local security uh, systems within like I think it's fifteen meters. On observation, I got uh, twenty under seventy-five. Perfect. I um, got forty-four under on my tactical evaluation. Uh, it, sorry. Yeah, no, you I got 55. Yeah, you got 55 under. Under yeah, 75, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you see, very well, yes. Um, the, are you, uh, this is a visual, I suppose, because the rings don't Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of looking around to see what I can see. Okay. Right. Uh, glitch. Um, you're detecting a lot of, like, very, like, localized handheld stuff. It's almost like the main central power to this facility, apparently, is off. Uh, which is why these security lights kind of come on when everything else goes off. So it's almost like everything, all, all of the local electricity you should be detecting is not functioning. Hmm. Uh, and th- this was security that you found? Yeah, although I also hmm. have a bio scanner. Like, I'm I'm built to be a scout. Mm-hmm. Um, so if there are people mm-hmm. in... Feel free to bio scan. Yeah, I will bio scan, mm-hmm. I think. Um, Does your scanner have guns? Hell yeah! <laughs> uh, functions as a sensor. 
I don't, I don't know what's going on, but while you two can't be seen, maybe you should take advantage and go kill whatever is out shooting at us. Oh, that's a good idea. Ace, you hear whispering in a language you do not know. Ah, hey. Sorry. Can she understand it because of her Is it galactic common? Oh, yeah, I have the earpiece now. 30%. 30%. Uh, actually, no, that that, that was re- that went really well. Um, <clears throat> they are speaking Fintari. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh, I don't think I can get everything because, like, that language is terrible, but I think it's that language of those guys that we don't like. Tark. <coughs> Thought? Um, no, the other one. <laughs> what? Uh, the, 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 the really Zaza? eaty one. Oh. Oh, Fintari. Fintari. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. the squid boys. Uh, Squiddies. Squid billies. Yeah, are we all on a central I would say, sure. You're, Space. You're, you're, you're talking to the common, to the com links. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sketch, uh, can you and uh, your buddies uh, continue making a distraction out there? We're going to try to sneak up behind them. Uh, my buddies are currently invisible entirely. Well, that might be one thing. Can you can you check on the UV spectrum and see if I still show up? I have got a lot of agram on. You nope. can't. You cannot. I mean, a lot and of my mask all. Spectrum. Does it mask it every mask? spectrum? It says all spectrums. Well, that is actually that's good it news. Says, that's good mm-hmm. news. For they're us. not even appearing on UV spectrum or any like I. I but they're nothing. but they're they're physically there. Yeah. They're physically here. Do, I hear them constantly. Okay. Well, you can hear them. Uh, do me a favor and just just see if you can punch one. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, I I am gonna punch towards the sound. Uh, Which sound? <laughs> your sound. Ow! <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. Yes, Why I can you? punch them. Okay, um... We can't distract if they can't see us. Well, we that, do go in there and mess them up. Let's go in there and mess them up! Yeah. That's, that's How long does this last? Listen, I, I, I will shoot from the ship so that they, they aim at me. You Invisible boys, go be invisible and mm-hmm. mess them up. Yes? What, yeah, what? Mess good. them up real the, good. The walls are about 10 meters so high. Your choice is weapon-wise, Sketch? Are, well, there is a, are they good. on the other side of the walls? Are the, these people that are shooting at us are on the other side? Yeah, of the they're house. in yeah. the facility. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so they're probably either yeah, on yeah, them yeah, or mm-hmm. right. But I, I just took my scan and I feel like I augmented my stuff. Like I could under, jump maybe half that. I get to see. scan <laughs> life forms within fifty meter. Mm-hmm. And what did you get? Uh, a hundred and two under. You can fly. So is I can, this? Oh yeah, I can what fly. What they are, or just that they? <laughs> I forgot about. No, it. Uh, so it detects presence of life forms. And so, you know, some of the stealth Andy boy kind of life forms uh, mm-hmm. have the abilities that they have as species mm-hmm. abilities, uh, but not what they are. Uh, you get 11 okay. hits inside. All right. And we have locations on them? Uh, there are roughly six on the wall. They're roughly two on each side. Um, as you can see from, from the map there, the wall is like not necessarily big enough to stand on itself, but uh, there's a lot of like adjacent structures to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so there's roughly two on each wall and five uh, in the middle of the facility. Yeah. Um, is it a small enough wall for me to blow it up with a rocket? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> One way to find out. That will very much give away your oh, position. Man, if you, now, so remember, your body-mounted <laughs> missiles are anti-structure, so... Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like the odds are good. You could probably put a hole in one of these walls. Hey, guys. So just to let you know, as an option, I can blow a hole in the wall, and it could also be a wall that a lot of them are standing on. So if you guys just tell me when, I will make things happen. I think if we do that, we do you firing and and ace firing at the same time. Right. And invisible boys, uh, just let me know if I need to stop firing because I can't see you. So if you're on a wall, I'm about to shoot. I'd love to know. What is the radius on your life form detector? <laughs> Good 50 to know. meters. <laughs> Just stay on your comms and communicate. Just to us, though. What? Is that a thing that uh, is functioning all the time? Or you have to actively turn on the camera at all. Um. Let's see. It's not specified. Okay. So. Okay. Got it. What? We're what gonna page? say for our purposes, it will remain on. What page are the specs of the skimmer on? Uh. PDF 327. Okay. Cool. All right. So, <clears throat> sneaky people. You are, again, a... Thought ninjas. <laughs> uh, yeah, thought ninjas. Thought what are you going ninjas. to do? Let's just, it let's just mess them up. Let's just really run. call an armored infantry transport archetype. Like, he, he wasn't being facetious there. That is what it's called. Yeah. Um, and while they're doing that, I'm going to shoot vaguely towards the snipers with 
the ship's weapons. Okay. Just a little cover. Right. 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 You, yeah. you got an HMG size weapon in the turret, and there is a, a, mis- a missile bay with six reflex XL missiles. Are mm-hmm. any of them plasma? What range are they in for me? Uh, you all are basically at the base of the wall, so yeah. uh, you, at this exact second, you do not have eyes on anyone. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know they're there because of glitches, scans, and your own observations, so you're aware of their presence, but like right now, there is no one that you're like, there's a guy, pal. Like, well, can I, with glitches scan, do I see, like, wh- like what does it look like? Is it a bunch of little dots, like, on a wall? Like, what's the, how, do I, like, see dots congregated at any place, like, on, on this, like, uh, glitch scan map that I can shoot, I know to shoot at the wall right there and probably take out the structure below them? You do know that here on the north face of this wall that, like, there is basically this little building here that they're standing on top of. So, yeah. yeah. We, we're pretty mm-hmm. sure that there are people up on the North Tower. If you wanted to send a rocket there from a position that isn't where the yeah. insertion team is, because yeah, you will you will be you will very much give away your position if you do this. Um, also, um, so you have two options to to point out to you. One, you could also hit the wall itself and try and blow a hole in the wall, which then you could go through. You also, your weapon system in particular, you have the automatic option where you can kind of fire and forget it, where you're like. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like that one. Don't fail me now. And that's the one that uh, does structural damage as mm-hmm. well. That is the this one all that does seems to come together well. very nicely. It's weird. It's almost like you have high level weapon systems. Mm-hmm. That, so, that, that last one. Uh, is your goal the wall or the building? Um, what do you think, guys? Uh, I think you take out the the tower, take out the gunners. And okay. when uh, Glitch says we can, that, we can make our way in. Are you all attempting to coordinate when all of this is going yes. to happen? Yeah. We want to be not near where Rocket is going off, so our position isn't given transport. away. Okay. Okay. We okay, already nice. uh, we already rolled initiative, so Haas, just give me your initiative, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with what we had last time. Mm-hmm. Um, so you roll two of these, combine it so the max number is 20, and then subtract your initiative modifier from that. 46. Nope, no, that would no, be 10. 10. That is 10. And your initiative um, is minus what? What number is 12? 12. 13, 12. So you're minus 2. Uh, it is the uh, half of your <laughs> manual dexterity <laughs> plus <laughs> the skill. Yee-hee. This is one of the ones you maxed out, right? Uh, and then the weapon itself also. So it is, honestly, if you don't roll a 1 you kind or roll a 100, you kind of can't miss. So yes, and that is, that is very accurate. The so rocket. You're hits. going to. Uh, you're it's going, not like the building's going to dodge. Right. You get. I mean, you never. Well, things can malfunction. That's kind of. That's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. I, I just. Mm-hmm. Some buildings can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's sci-fi. Mm-hmm. It's Western sci-fi. Also true. It's like California, the land of rivers. What, what did you end up with? This. Negative two. Okay. All right. Uh, we the fast boys. <laughs> Yes, we okay. Well, okay, so again, we are going to declare an opposite order, but I think I'm pretty clear on what everyone's going to do. Sketch is going to start shooting. Glitch, what are you going to do when, uh, because what is going to happen is once, um, Ace launches the missile again, it will take off and, like, she has a chance to go do something else while it does its own thing. Uh, this weapon system in particular has an auto fire where she can use her skill or it's got its own skill, basically, where it will do fight for you. Um, you don't have smoke or so, anything? I have smoke grenades. I mean, if you bought it. Like, You're invisible. Well, you I don't have any of my equipment. Mm-hmm. I have things. You're invisible. Mm-hmm. Yes, but they are not. So, yeah, Lynch, but we're what, in what is your, so understanding the plan yes. is that Sketch will start shooting and Ace we're, will we're launch the that. rocket. What are you we're going here? to do? Yes, yeah. at that time, the here? hope is that Tark and I are at not Ace's here. location so that our position isn't given away. We're going to make our way in and... Do the hole that theoretically the rocket's gonna blow in the in the wall? Um, I think we might just uh, take a wall like come from the southwest or something. Just chaos on all ends of the building. Okay. Since so we the, have you, positions on the other people. So the wall is ten meters high. How do you intend to scale it? I kind of figure you can do that. And I, 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 I'm I, a good Yoda. Well, yeah. Very much so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're going to backpack, backpack over? over? Yeah. yeah, I was thinking of that. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I entirely just assumed you're strong the, the thoughts are doing what? One of My clients are 95. Jumping right. over the wall. Well, we're, we're running in, and when we see the missiles hit the wall and make a hole, 
I want to jump over the wall, but about 30, 40 meters to the side of it. So if anything's coming towards that opening to see that, that hole, I can flank them. So but I'm going to use my jump pads to jump over the wall so once I get there. Specifically, what is happening here is the missile is going to hit the north wall. The skimmer fire is going to hit the south wall. Mm -hmm. So do you want the north wall, south wall, or we're, well, we're by the, the south east wall. wall? Okay, yes, yeah, so you would be by the south wall. Yeah, but okay. I'm going to jump over the wall, not at the point where the skimmer is, okay. is hitting it, but to flank anybody coming to that opening okay. on the other side. Perfect. All right. So I like the one man, two man that as well. I'll be on the low side and he'll be on the high side. All right. So you can all make the appropriate skill checks. Again, you've already rolled for the missile. Again, it uh, it is difficult to miss. It is possible, but you rolled spectacularly. So you're like sort of laying in. You, it's, it's, there's a nice spiral on the missile. Ace, it is very it's pleasing because you're like kind of like hooks out and you're like. Yeah. You double your, you double your, your normal jump. Do you need me to roll while I'm backpack? What's your jump? Strength. Just, just see, basically as long as you don't so, uh, as long as you don't, don't botch, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to hold on. While yeah. it's going off, how many actions do I have? 14. Like, am I able to kind of try and get <laughs> out of like dodge where they might have seen me? Because I yep. do have like my matte black armor that's good for stealth. Am uh, I able to kind of? Yes, like, because you that? fired the missile on auto, like you have a chance to sort of be not there. I mean, again, it is have, it has fire coming out from under it, but you have a chance oh, to be oh, like, oh, well, oh, oh, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna Fear try and, and run to catch up with uh, Tarkin Glitch. Mm, okay, all right. I'm firing from the turret. Yeah, I'm firing its pulse uh, ammo. Okay. And I rolled uh, 72 under. Is the goal for Thumper Jr. to be driving or keeping the keeping the vehicle where it is? Uh, right now I'm keeping the vehicle stationary. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thumper Jr. would be at the wheel okay. in case we need to move. But right now it's stationary. I'm just creating a distraction in one place. Okay. Roll your damage there. Um, okay. All of this, go ahead and you roll your checks to see if you can get over the wall. I mean, I have a jump of 27 meters. Oh yeah, and the wall's only ten. So yes, no, you super yeet over it. Yeah. Uh, and, and what is uh, what is jump of fourteen meters? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not as impressive. Same thing. It's boom, 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 boom. Yo. You know, two invisible uh, fox over the top. Inside, <laughs> once you get in, uh, give me your observation checks because you all are actually in first because you're climbing. It does take some time mm -hmm. to get Sorry, over. Just mix it up. Oh uh, yeah, and I'm and I'm fifty one below. So mm -hmm. okay, yeah. No, Can I do pointless one mm -hmm. ever to a frolls? <laughs> I'm just like a DUI not fall off of you. You know what? It's like glitch isn't there. You know what I mean? Like they're very much like Captain Morgan on your back yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> while you were making your way up the hill there. Yeah. Yes. Um, All right. I, I rolled a 34 mm -hmm. and I'm still not totally clear on how observation checks well, work. It, it's, it, is a, it is a skill that uh, you do not possess there. So uh, what what is your um, intuition? Uh, the full is 52. Mm, uh, so once you get it, I have augmented with multi-spectrum optics and my hearing. Yes, when you get inside again, you also are aware of the fact that um, there are eleven on um, the wall that you went um, over. Is, is, since you have gotten the lay of this place, is your intention to land on one of the buildings where the hostiles are, or go past them into it? Well, if I can land on one of the buildings behind some of the hostiles. Yeah, okay. blow up their butts. Okay. Yeah, yeah. see ya. Um, on, <laughs> like on, you did that one time with Hoss. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, on on the south wall, if you look at the, if, if you look at the map there, there basically is a gunner kind of in the southeast corner and another one sort of in the southwest corner on that building because oh, those two are kind of connected that. there. Uh, so which oh. one would you like to land what, on? And what were the two? I would like. Uh, the, you just know that there's two sentients on the wall. That is the only thing you know. All right. Uh, Two hostiles. And we're about to take the southwest boy. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I will. You I will take one. I'll take one. Yeah. One oh, each. Well, you all are in the north. Oh, yeah, we're on the north side. One each, then. Okay. One each. Okay. Um, and let's see. Well, if you look at that, the the the, the picture, you can kind of mm -hmm. see a little ridge. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a bad place to go up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> because it's a good visibility. Uh. Thumper, uh, both of you rolled the damage, by the way, for for what you did uh, to the structure. Uh, I'm just going to take the average know. damage and just play back. 45? I don't know uh, what the damage on this turret is. Uh, do you happen to have the damage on the turret written down? Uh, it just says it's a heavy machine gun weapon. Okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll say 4d6, and if it's not that, we'll do it with something else. Uh, which, if it's 4d6, <laughs> that spoken. means the average is 16, I believe, is the average damage, I think. 
Two um, D six. They said it was nine. Uh, so yeah, oh, right. they said it oh. could be done. Sounds There's good. Forty silver. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So ace. <laughs> Boom! A huge shower, which blows a significant hole in the in the side of this place. Um, it's really not very well built and not very well thought out apparently you know because i mean your your weapons are nice but i mean there's much bigger missiles out here and this is like <sighs> huge hole like it opens uh, up uh, blows a hole through the wall into the interior of the of what the structure would be on the other side she's uh, she's kind of looking she's got her rifle out and drawn because she's like even though she's backing up towards to get to them she's still looking to see if she can see any people like falling out of the hole she just created and she kind of giggles to herself she's like this is what you get for being a hipster all you stuff sucks <laughs> <laughs> you very much hear like yelling and things like everything was fairly quiet inside but once the chaos starts you're yelling and shouting and she's, she's still gonna keep backing up with her gun facing towards where the chaos is until mm. she sees anybody coming at her and she's still gonna keep backing up to get to them okay uh thumper you do land and uh when you land on the on the roof you see uh an eridani that is standing there uh, with a gun in one hand and a sword in the other, like very much kind of like slightly down behind the wall, facing like very, away from me, right? Uh, yes, facing away from you, Visible very much looking at the uh, at the vehicle, at the skimmer. Disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Let's see. Uh, and then Tark. Uh, I'll say you made it. Uh, you made it over the wall. Yeah. Um, once you again, your was your intention to land on one of the roofs where there might be a hostile, or to get inside? Because again, there were six essentially on the walls and five down inside. Yeah. So uh, the plan is with glitch on top. Mm -hmm. uh, glitch has uh, the first uh, a shot to see anything. So the plan is get up there and throw the rope down uh, for Ace to get up, mm -hmm. and then basically hold the rope while Glitch is watching out As and taking swimming. hostiles. Okay. Uh, from up here, uh, give me a quick observation here. Absolutely. And while they're doing that, I uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check my orbital mm -hmm. communicator that I left outside the planet. Perfect. Uh, Haas, it will be your turn next. By the way. Just making sure on things. <laughs> uh, give me your sensors check. Me. Yes. Uh, your communications to to comms, check your yeah. to, yeah, comms thing. Uh, I rolled an eight under one thirty-five. Um, so I feel like I, I probably that, got something if there's something to get. I was like, or electric. Pull out now! Evacuate now! Activating emergency transport systems! Activating emergency transport systems! And Thumper Jr. looks at you and says, "Activating emergency transport systems? What are you talking about?" And whoops! Sketch vanishes. And I'll just disintegrate. <laughs> Glitch. Yeah. As you crest up over the edge of this facility on Tark's back, yeah. again, you had a phenomenal role to hold on to him as he was scaling, so it's almost effortless. <laughs> uh, he's a sturdy platform. You know, you guys have done this before. When you get up to the north side, you actually still have a clear view out across the platform. You see your, actually you do not see your robot compatriots um, nope. on the far side, but you do see an explosion and someone disappear right uh, in front of you. Okay. And you see scrambling sentience down in the middle, but off in the distance, further south, you see something else. <laughs> Missiles arcing up over the horizon. And you hear, Paul, hang on, we got incoming. Oh, oh my God! And you see from the transport, the globe that you know Thumper Jr. is in, eject and boom! The transport Junior. erupts. He's, Pow! And you see her like flying through the air. It ejected as it was supposed to. Okay. And you all okay. hear a deafening rumbling noise it seems to be coming from everywhere at once what's going on i don't know keep an eye out 
Uh, now, uh, let's just go back to... The, oh, and you were going to shoot oh, somebody damn. else. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. You, uh, the the two fought in particular on the south side of the facility, you all very much saw the skimmer <laughs> get destroyed. Uh, both Ace and Tark, you didn't see it, but you very much heard it. Yeah, we because we heard... Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's on the coin, you heard the explosion. Um, but I saw the pod escape. You saw the pod escape, sketch. and you know, you have not heard Sketch. Wait. They were both in the pod. We're good. Let's finish this. And you do see the the pod. The pod is programmed to fly a hundred meters and try and land to safety. So while you hear Thumper Junior very much screaming and freaked out, the pod mm-hmm. is currently intact and flying like it's supposed. We got to stay focused. I vaporized the guy in front of me. Didn't you I? did vaporize him, and that would make it Haas's turn. I would like to shoot a uh, flux at Mach six. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yeah. 21. Excellent. Uh, that is enough. Uh, how much, what, what is your damage? It's 44 is the average. Uh, 44 is the average. Omega. It's an okay. omega weapon of death. You got four more shots after that. Okay, eight. <laughs> it says 8d4 for damage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, or 8d10. Or you can just take the average. We're taking the average, though, mm-hmm. for speed. Yeah, yep, let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so what, what was the average damage? 44. 44. Uh, you blow a huge hole in this giant ram's back, and it goes tumbling over the wall. <laughs> Perfect. Down over the side. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. That means I have three more things? Mm-hmm. Wait, does, is it not wearing any armor? Well, it was wearing armor. Uh, you just thumped it. Like, literally no one comes out here with no armor except you. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, not everyone can he's be wearing, he's wearing armor now. as me. <laughs> it's not great armor, but it's armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's it. That's all. Okay. Uh, Goodbye. It is uh, the hostile's turn. Let's see. Mm, let's see. Mm. Lots of dice <laughs> and lots of people. Lots of people. They're doing. Ominous. They're doing an assortment I'm glad of things. We're invisible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that means I'm Oh, poor bitch! <laughs> if only you were closer, you would have been invisible with us. If only, right? I can't be that close. <laughs> Thumper. I don't know yet. Oh, Alright, let's see. Uh, you very oh. much know this. Like You, you all <laughs> have spent a lot of time together. You, you know exactly that the glitch shorts out electronics. Oh, uh, it's, it's a thing they do. Yes, poor Thumper. I still look exactly the same. Uh, <laughs> I just have better armor. <laughs> not, not, not at this exact second. You do not have better armor. Um, oh yeah, worse armor now. <laughs> you're wearing my old light cruiser. Uh, oh. Tark. As you come over, one of the people that is uh, manning this side of the wall turns and like shoots at you with uh, with an archaic weapon. Okay. Um, what is your dodge rating? My dodge is thirty. Uh, it very much hits. Okay. Okay. Um, what is the uh, threshold on your armor? Uh, what part? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, yeah, not your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 42. It would be one Sorry, 42 is my head. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, 17. <laughs> uh, it bounces harmlessly uh, off of your arm. Okay. Uh, glitch. Yeah. Uh, what is the threshold on your armor? Uh, my threshold is 12. Mm-hmm. Oh, but the threshold on your head is much higher, right? Yeah. You hear pow, 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 pow. It's like three, like bang, into the side of your head, uh, right on the wall. Oh, boy. But it holds, and you hear the computer voice inside. That's all right. Just keep breathing. Everything's fine. We've kept you all intact. We're running a scan. Your cranial capacity is at 100%. Good. I need all of it. Um, I can't glitch out. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, the rest are happen. misses, like bullets spray wildly in the direction of the, of the two of you. And you all hear this is becoming deafening. And you hear and out of that building in the center of the facility, a four-wheel, literally four-wheeled vehicle, not a skimmer, like a truck comes pulling out and starts peeling out towards the towards to exit the facility. Towards which like to leave the main south? gate, which would be on the west side. To physically leave. 
Actually, it's not exactly clear. For our purposes, it's on the west side. No, it is to the south. No, it is trying to get out that gate to the south. Mm hmm. So, right out of the middle, it like peels out. And it's like, Vroom. Something's going weird with this facility. Mm, uh, what range is that? Uh, it is going to come driving, and it will pass between two, and even within, uh, it will pass within uh, one of Thumper and within two of Hoss. Because Thumper is on the. A tower to the southeast of the facility. Well, let's take it out. Mm-hmm. He's like, it basically is a, 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 like a... Like I'm a, ready. I'm ready. <laughs> like an armored transport, like, pickup truck, though. Like one of, like, the mm-hmm. uh, huge troop carriers that would... Of the modern day, which is an archaic relic, really, in this day and age. <laughs> Glitch, you got eyes on that? You think it's shielded? Mm-hmm. What does it look like to me? It looks like a... Like a uh, the name of these things is completely evading me, but just uh, one. Hummer to Humvee. No, but like the it's named after a person. Um, the big like troop transports. I mean, you who were in the military. What's the name of the tr- of the, the <laughs> trucks that all the troops ride in? And you're just talking about a military truck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'd just be called a truck. <laughs> we there call we that there's, truck. There's a no. There's a name. The for technical it. There's a term. Technical name is like a truck. It's, no, I'll tell you. Anyway. Yeah. Well, the it's, it's, it's that. Long. Okay. No, it's, it's like Are those MC typically shielded in the 23rd century? <laughs> Uh, I mean, like, like what are, shields. I mean, yeah. What do it, I see? What do I? A Bradley. That's what I'm trying to think of. Oh, Bradley. okay. Like Bradley. Bradley. That's, Bradley. A that's a tank. Uh, that's a tank. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm wait a right minute. This thing. That's the a tank. Name? Right. There's yes. A, that's true transport. These big like a, the missiles. Hummer, uh, Unimogs. And then there's a. Yeah. Which one? It's a big ass truck. Does it what have do a shield? Do? You don't know. Okay. You have no way to. Fair enough. There's a lot of different trucks. Okay. It's not shielding is not visible. Cool. Uh, I can't see. An H M Just right. have to take a guess. Just take a whack at it. All right. <laughs> I think I, I'm feeling something within me. <laughs> Can I do something? What? <laughs> it's not your turn. Uh, whenever it's my turn, mm-hmm. I have something. Yeah, I can it do. is. It is your turn, Thumper. All right. So uh, <laughs> now, see, I'm debating like uh, fig guns only work on flux fields, right? They don't right. do anything, anything else. Uh, yes, that is correct. All right. Well, I'm going to stick with old, old Reliable then. Matter Obliterator. Apparently, military tactical trucks is a thing. So it's a military tactical truck. That's what All I was right. Saying. It's called a truck? You just called it a truck? You, you said, said it was military tactical truck. Ooh. Well, if like you're a, in the military, like you don't have to call it truck. military. They, they took a truck and painted it camo. <laughs> it was <laughs> Range band one. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, it depends. If you want to shoot, you want to shoot like, the moment you lay eyes on it, if you wanted to get close enough, you basically would be like, Point blank to it at one. I'll, I'll wait till it's point blank. Okay. <laughs> and yes, yeah, I mean yes. Then it's yeah. it's a two second difference. So yes. All right. Mm-hmm. So I rolled a seventy three under my two sixteen. So or so it's seventy. What's uh? What should we call it? Two sixteen. Uh, you were definitely able to hit it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So that's my again yeah, my average damage of fifty. Uh. Boom! It like, like lays on its side and kind of like goes out for a second. Stay down! <laughs> uh, it is now, after that, it is Tark's turn. I drop the rope, wait until Ash, uh, uh, um, Ace grabs it. And okay. then as soon as Ace grabs it, I'm going to shoulder it and I'm running off to the other side of the building. Uh, Ace, do you do the cool like run of I do. I, as soon as I feel the tug, I just immediately. <laughs> Uh, you so, are at roll, just basically all you have to do is not crit fail, um, which again, put the odds at 50-50. <laughs> 42, mm-hmm. you mean like... No, yes, no, you very much are able to like run up and uh, both, all the three of you <laughs> that are, actually everyone, give me your observation rolls. Nope. Yep. You success. No, you're just head down. I'm, like, I, I see. Yeah, yeah, I'm literally grab head down, and as soon mm-hmm. as I as soon as I feel the weight gone, <laughs> plaps. <forward. laughs> I don't see anything going on. Mm-hmm. Because you're like, Whoa. oh, you very much go. don't. Yeah, yeah, no, but you're like, Whoa. Ah, ha. I, I just know that I look yeah, very freaking cool. No, you look super cool. No, but you <laughs> land cool. Uh, More than a hundred under. I rolled four on the dice. So glitch. While your friends are like again, workhorse here is ready to like draw his sword with the rope over, and Ace very much lands like yeah. 
Show your hand. That extra, yes. those yes. extra fingers. Yes. 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 You see something coming towards you. It is awful. It is crawling just past the wreckage of the skimmer, which you couldn't see it before because it was at least partially obscured, but the fire cast it in shadow. It is... I want to make sure I tell you the right size here. I don't anticipate this with gladness. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is not huge, honestly. It's only about ten feet tall. <laughs> yeah, but it's only three feet taller than me. It is something that you were taught about in basic, but has sure. never laid eyes on. It is a horrifying mixture of a gargantuan spider with the torso of a person charitably coming out of the top of it and it is carrying an almost impossibly big weapon and it is just walking past the wreckage and it stops and looks and pokes at it with the barrel and then turns and continues coming forward towards this facility it's arachnid it absolutely is an arachnid i'm sorry did you say arachnid we're gonna have to burn this whole planet to the ground guys sounds good to me uh, I'm gonna make my way into that building. Uh, extremely Jurassic Park Raptors energy. Okay. To go towards the one in the center? Yeah. Okay. The one I was right near, so. Right. Okay. Least possible movement. Okay. Uh, you, Glitch, do you tell everyone in the comms? Yes, I, I, yeah. Um, when, when Glitch calls this out, the two of you turn and look to the south, and you can see it. Once it's pointed out to you, it is like coming coming towards, but it's sort of like right when it gets past the fire, it sort of shimmers and disappears. All right, we got a big nid to the south. All right, let's uh, let's get whatever we need to get here and, and get under some some something what, fortified or whatever. What do we do? What do we do, Hoss? You, I, I need to figure out the situation first. What? Can you repeat that? What are we looking at? It's a ten foot big mother that has a big gun. It's a like a what? centaur spider that's ten feet tall. And it came it out just, of the, the truck. It's coming from the south. Uh, it came from the, the south gate. through the cape, uh, kind of yes. sniffed at that skimmer that just got wrecked, <laughs> uh, and then shimmered and vanished, which is you know fine. Uh, you can see the stuff. Just like the little sparkles. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I make my way into it's building. completely invisible. Uh, yeah, you two should start a club. <laughs> it's it. All right. Well, somebody in is... ultra vision want to be able to see it. Well, somebody who is visible is going to have to draw it in. Well, and guess what? Blanket. I'm on the ground. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, so you do you come into the inside of the of the structure? Well, I mean, when I, to get her up, mm-hmm. I literally yeah, jumped yeah. off the other side of the building. So it's literally whooping yeah. elevator, elevator status, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. So. And so I'm on the ground on the inside. Of, of the place. From where you are, you have eyes on the south gate, which is open. So there's basically two burning wrecks outside the south gate. There mm-hmm. is the truck, which is essentially just outside because Thumper thumped it. Mm-hmm. And there is the wreckage of the skiff, which is probably uh, another hundred meters or so past that. Mm-hmm. And when Glitch saw it, it was by the wreckage of the skimmer. Honestly, I think the best idea is to to move clockwise and kill everybody as we're moving to draw attention. And as soon as it comes into visibility, after the truck fled, you have not seen anyone else. Does it? I was just about to tell. Does that even show up on my virus scanners? Uh, at first you were like, it, it just seemed like it was like a nonsensical reading, like it couldn't quite process. Uh, now it very much is registering. Okay, so I can at least see it on that. Does your invisibility hide you from bioscanners? All spectrum. All spectrum. Then new, it does not. I I can't see the... Hold on, we'll see you right now. 
It is not on the bio. Oh, scanner. so it's using like the matrix he matches power. It says power. sound, vibration, and sonar can still detect me. Sound, vibration, sound, vibration, sound. and sonar. sonar so it still systems. makes noise. It has um, a negative one hundred to detect targets. Affected sound, sensor systems have a negative. Uh, roll. Okay. Which to see to see if you can detect it. Yep. All right. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. I can hear it. <laughs> can we hear the thumping? <laughs> you all, all of you, have been trained to know though. This is a horrific killing machine. I feel something deep inside me. It's worse than that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it worked. Wait, what did, what, it, what did you roll for? <laughs> 95. Oh, did it work? Oh, there's something what is it that deep you were inside me. Uh, going back you're inside. Right. Uh, what is it that you were trying to do? <laughs> me? I was trying to make a dimensional prison. Uh no, I guess it didn't work then. It did not yes. work. Mm-hmm. Can Try again under? next year. Uh, at negative a hundred, no, you don't detect it. You saw it. Yeah. But it is gone. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense because I'm making my way into the building, so this is just a real quick flash anyway. Mm-hmm. Although, do give me a quick observation check. That was what I was just rolling. Oh, that was observation. Yeah, I was 23 oh, I under to but here. I, I, oh, I thought you were... Oh, okay, sorry. I thought you were using your life scanner. Uh, um, no. No, I had uh, been earlier. You had asked for an auditory check. Yes. That was 23 under. 23 under to here. Yes. Uh, it is still surprisingly difficult because there's two flaming racks out here. Yeah. That that seems unsurprisingly yeah. difficult. Yeah. yeah. However, you do notice a pile of gear in here mm-hmm. where um, there are bits and pieces of armor and weaponry. In the building? That, mm-hmm. That does it look like Hossus? It does look like it would be like the kind of thing Hossus would be into. Hossus, I think I have eyes on your equipment oh, thank God. in this building up here in the north. Fantastic. Courtyard. Can you mark that for me? Yeah, uh, north courtyard uh, in the building, the freestanding one. Uh, I was looking to see if there was a computer console or anything. A missile appears and boom, completely destroys the interior building right in the middle of the facility. Just like goes up in flames and kills. Destroyed all my equipment. Uh, no, it did not destroy. Uh, no, that's that the one that I'm building. in. Mm-hmm. If it destroyed uh, that one, well, I cry anyway. Am I in the same uh, <laughs> Uh, Not if glitch is hurt. But if my <laughs> gear's gone. You, glitch would be in the building that is basically like at the base of the wall where you were. Because they were up there, saw the arachnid, and noped out. So I'm then, on the roof there in the building. Yes. Okay. Do we have eyes on where the rocket came from? No, uh, it's probably the enemy that hit our ship from five clicks away when we were still uh, in the air. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes. What are you doing, Glitch? Right, <laughs> um, I'm going to. Let's see. It's invisible, right? So mm-hmm. observation wouldn't help me at all. Uh, it might. Again, oh, it can be heard. All right. Heard. Heard. Oh, I didn't fail. Let's see. Didn't fail it. Uh, okay, so four under. Okay. You hear like a... Yeah, that's a Do I hear which direction it's coming from? Uh, it is to the south on the inside of the gate. Um... Guys, I got clicking on the inside of the gate. Um, I, I, it seems like it's closer to the south side. Again, you let me know when you want me to blow up the giant bug. Well, I have now, it. now's good. If you can, if oh, you actually, can yeah. hit it. Actually, that, that makes a lot of sense. It. If you, got, uh, you can I, hit it. Thumper, what do you do with this information? Because you realize you're right next to the gate. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. Fire at, but I, well, can I can I make a, an observation check with hearing? Uh, yep, you absolutely to... can. That is something you are good at. Oh, uh, and I'm finally hearing. out of your ears. Oh, that's I rolled a 98 though. I don't think I made it. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. Oh, minus your for 40 you. for your ears. All right, so that's 58. Right. Uh, oh, but your uh, observation but it... is 26. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the only thing you can hear is Thumper Jr. screams echoing in your ear because she is still absolutely panicking on all comms. I'm like, Daddy, come get me. Daddy, Daddy, I don't know. Daddy, Junior, Daddy, I just, I don't know. Junior, stay frosty. Okay, 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 okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Mute this channel so you get your shit sorted out. He goes off. What would the range of that thing be? Uh, from where you are there, it would be the third band, roughly to where it could begin. You're not quite 100% sure where it is, but it's near the south gate, which is about band three. 
And what is Tark doing during this? You can still roll. Uh, I'm I'm heading in the direction that Glitch told me that thing was in uh, Plasma Sword at the ready. Okay. And as I'm walking out, I'm yelling out, Come out, you coward. When you come out and you yell, Come out, you coward. Mm-hmm. It shimmers into view. And it looks at you and it turns its incredibly alien head just sort of to the side and holds out one of its hands, and it extends into a blade. And it literally looks at you and goes... Run towards him. Okay. Sword in hand. Can I shoot at it before he closes? Uh, Thumper is technically it. first, yeah. so yeah. Everybody. <laughs> it's Thumper, then Tark, then Huss. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We see you, <laughs> we delicious bug there. buddy. Mm-hmm. Please don't roll a 98. Do. Oh, no, that was crazy. I, I rolled a, a 14. Oh, yeah. And... Thanks. And is it range band one for me? Uh, it would be range band two for you because it was invisible when it came through the gate. So it's a okay. it's a couple meters in. So I rolled a fourteen, and it'd be one eighty six is what I have. So I am significantly okay, <laughs> significantly under by a whole lot. Okay, um, wh- uh, where would you hit it? Uh, center mass. No, I mean, you gotta roll to see where you hit it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do I roll? You know, uh, I roll 1d6. I just shoot it perfectly through mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like, I shoot it in the face. <laughs> uh, I got a five. That's, uh, the left leg. But that can is, I bump? Uh, yes, you can, you can bump. Okay, I have a, I have a 15 in, uh, energy weapons, so, so you can two bumps. Uh, if you, you can yeah. bump it twice, but that will be two of your actions if you do that. Okay, and I don't get a free bump. Uh, no, because it is out of range one. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, yeah, I think I, I, think I do want to use my, my bumps. Okay. To get it to uh, to the head, I guess. Hey, uh, you're going to move towards its head, okay? To bump towards the head, yeah. Okay. So, you bump up towards its head. It bumps back towards its arm. <laughs> so, you're like, mm, and it's like, so basically when it's like, as <laughs> this uh, shot to, comes towards I'm it. trying to track uh, so it. Predict you, its movements, but, but it's so alien! But you do it, yeah, it is incredibly alien, actually. It doesn't move but, right! It's but creepy. you feel an odd, um, almost appreciation for these. Because, again, you know how Uncle Ernie feels about these things. It, it's more a jealous competition. Whereas everybody else is like, these are unstoppable nightmare menaces. You we know. are the best creation. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yes, but roll. Uh, the damage? Uh, yes. Uh, well, the average is 44. Okay. Or, sorry, 50 on the matter of obliterator. Okay. Um, and it attacks structural integrity first, mm-hmm. correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, you do... <laughs> but it does not go down. Did I hit it in the blade arm? Uh, you hit it in the other arm. Oh, it's got okay. a blade right here, and it got hit in the other arm. And again, it's got a lot of limbs. Like a lot of limbs. It's a spider. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a nid. So scary. An arachnid. Arachnid. Uh, you um, right. It was like boom. You see right then up over its back. You the a barrel flips over, shoots right back towards you. Mm-hmm. What is your dodge? I don't want to Uh, seventy six. I can. Sp- Bring at a moment's notice. <laughs> cybernetic <laughs> legs. You jump as the building you are on explodes. The building, the oh, wall, man. everything <laughs> like, oh, blows mm-hmm. outwards as you basically like leap off. Backflip. Down to, well, do you, if you backflip, <laughs> well, you'll go out. Yeah. You land on the ground. Uh, I'll say out of arm's reach of it, but you are now on the ground with it. Good. Yes. Uh, right where I wanted to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't care about that building anyway. <laughs> Tark, it is your turn. Uh, how many actions to get to it? One. Mm, yeah, one, because you're fast. All right, so one action to get to it, and then I'm going to attack it. Mm-hmm. Go give it a sad day. I'm going to do my bestest. Um, my bestie. After Tark will be Haas. So uh, that is um, 50 under. Okay. <laughs> uh, hang on, let's see. Okay. Um, it is a three, which is its left arm. Okay. Which I believe is the same arm that just got hit. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And that is five, six, seven, eight. 
uh, plus 16. Uh, that is 24 damage to its left arm. Uh, and it takes uh, four sh um, structural integrity damage as well. You crack into it in a horrific, foul-smelling liquid comes out of it, mm -hmm. uh, but the arm does not come off. Cool. And you know how hard you hit that thing. Cool. Second. And but it is definitely wounded. Second attack uh, with the 20 bump. Um, also 20 below. Or, sorry, 50 below. Uh, so I rolled a 5, mm -hmm. but I would like to use two bumps to hit that arm again. Okay. I like how these rolls are like Battle Lords or Midwest Winter Temperatures? <laughs> <laughs> All true. Poor Kano Dose. Uh, uh, Hoss, whatever you're going to do, start rolling. So you're 20 ready damage shield. to that arm, and then I'm... Uh, so that was a total of uh, five actions. Move, attack, attack, two bumps. Yeah, so that's five actions, and I'm holding my last one to uh, defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No floor dice. So yeah, that was 20 damage to that arm and an additional four to the structure. Oh, interesting. Uh, Tark, as you're wailing on it and you hear like cracking and you see like blood coming out of it, it's ah, and stabs you with the sword arm. Okay. For 24 points of damage. Okay. And five points of structural integrity. Okay. It hits you uh, center mass. Oh, sweet Jesus. Center mass. All mm -hmm. right. So, so that... what's your threshold center mass? 17. <laughs> All right. So three, seven points go through. Okay. Into the absorption. And it does do five points of structural damage as you hear a loud crack when it stabs into you. Okay. And it looks at you and its face is blank. But it's just like pure hate in its eyes. Ooh, stone, just... I'm stone faced, just staring right at, even with its mandible in my mm -hmm. chest. Yeah, and you all very much see, like it is like jammed its sword into <laughs> Tark, as, even as he's wailing on it. Haas, what are you doing? I would after like Haas, it will be Ace. To sh oh wait, let uh, I me mean, shoot. <laughs> you shoot? Yeah, uh, shoot. shoot. Yeah, shoot. I would like oh, to wait. I'm still in that building, right? You're standing on top of the roof. You can very much see this. It is quite visible now. Like, it is actively fighting Tark. And, okay, yeah. perfect. I would like, is it range two still? Uh, for you, it will be range three, because you were at the other end of the facility. How many actions is going to take to get to range one? Uh, I would say one. Again, you're fast. So you'd be, like, running along. Either you could run along the wall, which part of which is now ruined, mm -hmm. or you can uh, come down to the ground. Yee -hee -hee. Mm -hmm. Not on the low ground. High mm -hmm. ground all day. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I guess take one action to do that, mm -hmm. and then I want to uh, smash it with uh, the the devastator. Okay. Um, which is forty four damage. I have. Uh, you have to roll the hit. Yeah. Well, I, well, I did uh, seventy eight in the first one, which was under ninety, which is what I needed. Uh, I rolled like when you told me. So that is actually not enough to hit it. Because <laughs> it has dodge. Like, it well, is, shoot. It is, again, this thing is gigantic. You would think it's very lumbering. It is not. It is incredibly agile. But like, mm -hmm. I did get a 22 on a Matrix Powers. Mm -hmm. It's called glue. And all I got to do is aim at it and be like, look right there. And what is it that you're trying to do? Uh, it, so it secures a target to another obje object. Target must make a strength check with a high average. Minus 25 difficulty. Each level of gen skill beyond first increases difficulty by 5%. And I have 5 mm -hmm. points in mm -hmm. gen mm -hmm. skill, which would make it 45, mm -hmm. I believe. So you have to get better than that, I guess. Um, and that I want to uh, basically glue its feet to the ground. That would be the object I would like to. Okay. Uh, it does have a number of legs. But you definitely see the like glue start to appear around. Just take and it, it really whips fun. around at you, and like its eyes glow, and you feel a tremendous pain go through your mind. Uh, well. Make a mental ECR. I don't even know that what should that be means. one of your numbers on there, on your character sheet. You need to roll under that, or tell me if you do not. Mental. Please roll under that. Thank you. <laughs> mental ECR? Yes. Oh, wait. My what's well what's the oh yeah because you got the different armor the the helmet doesn't give you any extra 
Oh wait, no, twenty five. Ace. Oh, Ace goes, and that's your other gear. Yeah. Uh, Ace yep. goes into combat. Yeah. But uh, Tark, how you yeah, look at that? You have twenty five of your I'm own. I'm always allowed to do. I'm I'm alive. alive. <laughs> um. So here's the thing: if I shoot a rocket oh, at the I'm thing dead. that's got you stabbed, <laughs> are you gonna live through it? Yes. All right, and she fires, and it was fifty nine hundred and Wait, you can see me? I'm invisible. Yeah, but you're attacking it. Yeah, and also it's got powers of its own. And bullets. <laughs> you don't know. It's not a subtle it's weapon. It's Mach 6. <laughs> it turns and looks at you. It's mocking you. And you just feel everything freeze. And you fall off the wall. Oh. Like, outside of the facility. You're like, ba boom That's okay. Is he all right? And uh, he does not respond. I'm <laughs> crying. I'm here. Yeah. now, Hoss. Okay, ace. What else? Uh, I'd shoot the rocket. Okay. Uh, is this? Are you shooting the arm rocket, the anti personnel, or are you shooting one of the building destroying? Wait, things? did the glue the big work? Building destroying things at. Uh, the spider. It started to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so the glue is starting to work. Oh, because uh, you like saw like the bridge. glue form. You don't know if it's in place or not. Like it, so far, it hasn't tried to leave. It's very much fighting Tark, mm -hmm. and uh, with it, it does have one like mangled arm. Like you all have definitely heard it, but it, it saying, doesn't. If it gets glued there, everybody just lay fine. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be reacting in any way. Like it very much is like regarding you all. Like it was the last like, power I could use. Okay. Um, I mean, even stationary is dangerous. <laughs> you you rolled uh, well, what there? Sorry. Fifty nine hundred. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hold on here. If I do die, there's a letter. It's messaged out to you. What? <laughs> what? Don't uh, talk like that, Hosh. Huh? Or roll to see your target. I just want you to get this letter. <laughs> Tell my 7,000 kids I love them. It goes hurtling <laughs> towards uh, the creature, and it literally moves its arm and uses Tark to hit the Can missile. Can I bump it? Uh, you, yes, bump, because it's bumping. Bump, bump it, it a lot. It is bump trying, it a lot. To, it is trying to bump it, bump it away. Bump it a ton. I'll bump it twice. Okay. Yes. I also have, I saved up an action to also defensively bump. Towards where? Uh, it is not it. actually going to put you in front of it to take it, because that'd be a bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I has a Tark shield. Wow. Can, I, can I get to its face? Uh, yes, you could theoretically aim towards its head. I With two would like to bump anyway. towards its face. Okay. Uh, it is going to bump back towards the arm that does have Tark attached to it. So I will not say you get hit, because again, <laughs> that would be unfair. But as you try and arc, again, it is shocking how fast this thing moves. Uh, and while one arm is completely, like, very much damaged and the other one is stabbing Tark, it's sort of like... Mm -hmm. It takes it in the right, in the, right in the elbow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's the damage on that? Uh, the average is 45, I believe. Okay. Uh, yes. Bang! Again, Tark, you get a semi-satisfying spray of blood in chunks all over you, but again, that missile was pretty yeah, yeah, yeah. close. <laughs> You're like, yeah, oh! Okay, right. no, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. She just um, says, sorry, buddy, you told me you could take it. Okay. Phrasing. Um, <laughs> uh, and we Ooh. are to glitch. Yeah. Uh, I want to lean out the door of the building mm -hmm. with my rifle, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take three shots. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be called shots. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to aim for its eye, which is a negative 90. So, you know, we'll just see how that do. Mm -hmm. um, so I rolled them out. Uh, I'm just finishing up with the math. So, one, seven, seven. It's dodges seven. 26, by the way. Uh, actually, it is out of dodges for this round. Oh, perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. That's very useful Dodge to me. This. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Then I will <laughs> shoot all three into its eye, because the first one was a 62, the second one was a 1, and the third one was a 2 on the dice before mm -hmm. my 177. Uh, Savage! What, what's the damage? <laughs> uh, it, each of them are 10. It's a laser, so it ignores absorption, and all of them are into its eye. <laughs> Uh, you do very and you see like it does not bleed because it's a laser uh, like you see Target's eye is shot out like completely it's mm -hmm. just like Ow. and it seems it does like wince this is the first actually almost reaction that you got out of it but it does not go down well uh, so, yeah. cool. mm -hmm. 30 points of damage uh, I use my remaining three actions for dodge okay. the other half of my actions I wish I could do the same <laughs> <laughs> uh, help. Mm. help! 
So I think I can put it upside down. That's right. Help. Just like that. Uh, Tark. You're proud of me, Duck Daddy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we are around um, uh, to the top of the next round. Mm-hmm. Um, Tark, although you can dodge, but it will still be a part of this this round's action pool. Mm-hmm. The same gun that was over its shoulder that it blew the wall out, uh, aiming at Thumper, turns right at you point blank. Oh yeah, for sure I'm going to try to dodge that. <laughs> My, just my, take it to the face. <laughs> taser <laughs> face. Um, <laughs> yeah. comma, comma rocket face. Uh, uh, my I, dodge is a thirty. Uh, I will say it. Um, you might want to look into the full dodge because uh, it is going to hit you point blank. What is full dodge? What is uh, where you use all of your actions to do nothing but dodge? Oh, for for the next round. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm down. Or, Thank you. or you will be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I like, mean, I'm like, you, will you, just, you just saw this like completely. Uh, oh, I don't die! I don't die! I don't die! <laughs> uh, I mean, you still might. I just want to. Yeah, see yeah, what, yeah, what's yeah, your, yeah. I'm uh, with you. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. You leave when Glitch tells you to leave, and not before. <laughs> not one second before. Uh, sorry. I'm Pro like, tip: I'm, I'm just like... not going to tell him. <laughs> and then he doesn't die. All right. So actively dodge. If you actively dodge, you have to spend all of your actions. Oh no! But that—that that is it. That is your. That's your whole turn. Yeah. And then theoretically, you can defensively bump also. Cool. Um. So. You have all um, well, the actions in the world to do that. <laughs> Six. I thought that, it's a good I swear life. there was there was yeah. some mechanic to do nothing but run and dodge. I thought apparently I. Well, oh, I can't it. run. There's a sword in me. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait. Okay. Hold on. Let me just. Pull it out. Thank you. Yeah, you know it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yes. When we were talking about moving at two points, by the way, it takes half your actions to bump once. It takes all of your actions to bump twice. So the defensive ones, if you're doing that, that is the only thing you can do is defensive bumps. Gotcha. So you have a choice. Uh, you either can attempt to um, do the active dodge, but I will tell you he rolled incredibly well and is going to sure, hit you. Sure. Or you could spin this for two bumps to try and move it away because right now it is one of your arms. Uh, well, okay, then I'll use my full action to move it to a leg. Or a head. Hmm. That's a, that's a difficult choice. You very much saw this weapon take out a wall in a building. All right, let's do a leg. Let's get rid of a leg. Uh, it hits you for 78 points of damage. <laughs> How many body points does Tark have? Uh, body points? Mm-hmm. Um, not well, that, that many. That, it's, not so that many. Subtract, yeah, yeah, yeah. subtract your threshold, subtract your absorption, and okay, tell me so, how much gets through to so, you. So my threshold's 17, mm-hmm. and my leg is 70 for absorption. All right. So that is seven, that's 87. And then uh, what What did you hit me with? So uh, it's, he hits you for 78. So Ooh. one. Oh wait, seventy-eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So my absorption seventy and my threshold seventeen. So the total of that. Okay. So it, in, in your leg, the absorption seventy-eight. No, my uh, my leg absorption is seventy seven zero. Right. Uh, so yes, you have to do the math, but it basically like blows almost all the armor off your leg. Cool. Like it is then like there is like a, a thin veneer of uh, padding on it, and it's good. I just sort of like looks at you and like narrows a little bit. <laughs> the one eye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, like... Thumper, it is your turn. All right. Uh, after, there... Thumper, after Thumper will be Tark. Is there another building close enough that I could run and leap to the top of to fire from cover from there? Uh, it would not be cover, but you'd be from elevation because uh, along the top of the walls is open. Yeah, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah I want to leap up to one of the, the inner courtyard buildings. It's relatively close to, to this thing, but it gives me the, uh, the higher From the ground. inner court, the only inner courtyard. I mean, well, that's the, where it the is, main, right? That's where uh, the it's, just, it's kind of just inside the south gate. Oh, um, okay. The inner courtyard, the main building in the middle, it destroyed. Uh, the building sort of to the far right of that is where Glitch is located. Uh, and there is another facility kind of standing right in the middle, sort of just straight north of you from the wall. Right, I'll hop up onto that one then. Okay. And uh, uh, and then I'll you jump very far, so that's just one action. Leap, uh, mm-hmm. and then uh, and then I want to take a shot at it. Okay, roll it. Well, which range band is it? Uh, it is now range band three. Okay. 
right, so uh, right. After this is Tarkin and Haas. So you all start thinking what you're going to do and making your checks. Am I able to do anything? Three. Did yeah. I spend all my actions to, to bump it? Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, had you not, that would have gone very poorly. Please spend your full round with gratitude for continuing yeah, yeah. to be alive. <laughs> yeah, so you could just go ahead and just skip me this time. It's okay. Mm-hmm. You're like literally missing me with that. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. That is all of your actions to defending. All right, so I roll. Actually, I take that back. You get one free defensive bump because of your melee weapon, so that would have only taken half of your actions. So I've got three all left. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so I am 108 under. Uh, that is enough to hit it. All right, uh, so that is... Uh, First time we wear. Uh, D6. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a five. Uh, that is in one of its legs, okay. Um, can I spend, uh, now the, the legs are, are, are in the process of getting glued to the ground, right? It, so far, it has not, it has not moved from the spot where it got glued. All right. You don't uh, know if it can, but you do know it hasn't. Okay. I think I want, I think I'll just take that then. I don't want to, I got to save my, my stuff for defensive bumps. So, okay. Uh, I'm just going to take it. So yeah, uh, 50, uh, 50 points of damage on, uh, on position five. Leg. Uh, you do blow one of its legs clean off, but I mean, it's got eight. <laughs> Does it care? Mm-hmm. Again, it, like, you're close enough, Tart, that you kind of hear it, like, grunt and say something, but you don't know what it's saying. But it's very much, <laughs> I don't care what he has to say. The yeah, the, uh, the language the analyzer. The arachnid language is not known. Well, you know what? It's got a 30% chance to know it. Yeah. Because this is not some... Oh, and I rolled a nine. Oh, hey! Uh, it is basically talking about how it will crack you open and pull out all of your ribs and devour them while you watch and die in agony. I don't think that's possible. Uh, yeah, Ace translates. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you next time, eat don't worry about translating that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Haas. mean, I just wanted to let you know you it was very angry. Haas, oh, Haas is paralyzed. Haas does nothing. Okay. <laughs> Um, the, uh, Can I look see. pretty while paralyzed? You do not. Uh, there. Okay. <laughs> um, Tark. Uh, not Tark, actually. Thumper. It, uh, once it's like a uh, leg gets blown off, it, uh, over the other shoulder, you see another one of those missiles, like, flip over and <laughs> straight towards you. Uh, are you dodging? I am. Okay. Uh, and your dodge is what? Uh, my dodge is 76. Nice. Um, I'm, I'm an agile big bunny. I like it. <laughs> uh, you leap off in time for the building to again just utterly explode. Boom! <laughs> Sure, rain, sparks, and things everywhere. I but... gotta find a new spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ace. Um, she is going to head towards uh, Tark and Haas mm-hmm. uh, and try and get as close to them as possible because they are in pretty gnarly shape. Haas is outside the wall. You actually don't know what happened to him. Uh. He just fell over the wall and you haven't seen him since. Oh, great. Uh, He's Tark a is still basically point blank with this thing and he is like very clearly wounded. You could kill it faster. Yeah, that's a good way to I make mean, sure literally like. over comms, I'm I'm yelling, "Give it everything you have." More okay. DPS. And she, uh, there, <laughs> More there DPS. Is a burst I know on these missiles, but I did not write it down. But uh, can we, can we I think fire? one of them I'm able to like burst a ton of them. Uh, which one is it? Heavy gunner. Um, I think it's the big one, but I'm not entirely. Oh, uh, what's the name of it? So I can keep uh, searching for it. Digiton. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. And the ballistics are the arm missiles that I have, in, if it's not um, that one. I've also rolled my attacks already, so. Uh, you used all your stuff to dodge. Oh, no, no you, you have just, half. Yes, yeah, you just told me Oh, then yeah, please actually give that to me, because that would happen all before right. she shot. So, um, yeah, go for it. These do not, the Digiton are, uh, do not have... A burst because again they're destroyed they're designed to destroy like structures okay they hit really hard but it's very much like so it's probably the <laughs> but, uh, that, that being said then i'll still just um i'll can i shoot twice 
All things being equal, if your desire is to drop the thing, hitting it with your missiles is probably, it, that is your opportunity to do the most damage. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can I shoot two missiles at oh, it as a yeah. single shot, um, basically? Yes, but it will be negative 20 uh, each time. Yeah. That is fine. Yeah, do it yeah. anyway. It's a good uh, life. Yep. I'm just taking uh, single shots all day. Go Tars, please. So, first one is... Oh, I have told you wrong. Uh-oh. That you are capable of bursting at 5 or full at 10. So you can shoot ten missiles at once. That's what I thought. That's what like, I thought. Sting yes. your missiles. Yes, yes, she does. That is what she does. She yeah. goes yeah. through that whole rain of terror. Uh, Tart. On this thing. Yeah, she yells through the comms that she's about to do this, and you know, twelve missiles are about to land point blank where you are. It, is he still got a hold of me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, not to the extent that you cannot leave, but no. I mean, you're, you're right here. Quick technical and question. And she's about to death blossom. Sure. Yes. What are, uh, if we can look up uh, real quick, the necromal injection, like, is there a range on that? Like, if they're it's, so it's, dead, it's, do I not bring them um, back? They, uh, the body has to be preserved for a couple of days. It basically has to be intact. Yeah. Like, I if, mean, if, if, if not really so blowing you to yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's yeah, no, it's, it's one way trip. If he if he is in the way when these missiles hit, all right, so as, as these are coming in. You, although you do have a chance to act beforehand. Yeah, yeah, so I have three actions because it used half of my actions, right? Mm-hmm. So now I have a total of six. I'm attacking twice and I'm running on my third <laughs> <laughs> the Aridani way that, um, as it, yeah it's this gr- is grudgingly, li- li- grudgingly. I, I'm gonna see how this works you just want little sister to have a chance that's just all. just a little bit so yeah. uh, the first one is approximately 90 under and then the next one even with the 20 additional for the second attack is over a hundred under mm-hmm. uh, um, the first hit is right leg Second hit is uh, chest. Mm-hmm. Uh, first one is 26 damage to the right leg. And mm-hmm. then the chest is a 27 damage. Mm-hmm. And then I GTFO. It <laughs> sees you leaving uh-huh. as... And it... Let's see... Do the structural missiles penetrate his threshold? <laughs> Mm. I Crazy. feel like maybe they <laughs> <say. Ooh. laughs> That's how terrible it was, and everybody died! <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got no, stressed. It's emotions, Thank yeah, you, you the like glitch. everything out. Uh, Tark. Mm-hmm. As you turn to run and you see your friend yelling as all these missiles come like launching out all over her coming in this direction, it spits and a glob of webbing hits your leg and holds you in place. <gasps> you will have one chance to get out of the way before all these missiles land. All right, what do I need to do? It's a strength check. Oh, well. I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have one shot at it. Okay, just I don't want to vomit on my sweater. I want you to know it missed. It got it by three percent. It three percent. It got it. So uh, I am s- uh, sixty five under. Sixty five because I have one hundred and twenty is my strength, and I rolled a fifty five. You needed under forty. So here's how this is going to happen. Oh, wait, wait you, I'm, 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 I'm under 65. 65. No, he, you roll at negative 80 to break the glue. Oh. Uh, so. Nikki. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's see how much damage I take. So okay. All of it. Take it. How Everyone's this dead. is going to work. Because you <laughs> shot 12. <laughs> we will say uh, even and odd. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, if it is even, it hits the arachnid. Well, uh, I was gonna say, I think, uh, let's 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 ha- let's have a May feel the yeah. feel the pain of that. Yeah. <laughs> damage. Uh, so this is uh, essentially what now? Because it, it's the um, it's the direct weapon mm-hmm. plus. Uh, I'm going to say because it is in fact rooted in place, and he is also rooted in place. Unless you roll a hundred, you will not miss. Oh, the I miss- rolled a sixty-one. Yeah. So the missiles are going to land. The question now is how many missiles hit the arachnid and how many missiles hit Tark. 
So Ooh. which die would you like me to roll for that? So, uh... Ooh, what if you did... Because it's a burst, right? What if you did the d12, one through six hits the arachnid, your target, and then the seven through 12, which is your normal miss, would hit me instead? That's still 50-50, oh, right? That, yeah, that's fair. And you're still using the same mechanic. Oh, that is fair. Uh, so you're going to roll a 1d12, yeah, but you're going to roll 1d12 12, 12 times. And and let's let's roll let's roll like 1 through 6. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> that is one that is going to hit you. All right, one. Uh, one that is going to hit it. Okay. Two that are going to hit it. Okay. Two that are going to hit you. <laughs> right down. Even. Three that are going to hit it. Four that are gonna hit it. All right. What is nine. that? Sorry. Uh, That's three me. that are gonna hit you. What is that? It's a nine. That is four that are gonna hit you. It's a split. That's four. Uh, five. You three more. One for the bug. Uh, so okay, and then. Uh, Lord, I don't only, count. Uh, so that's that's six. So you do one more after this. Uh, one you're still hitting it. So one more. Actually, the floor dice didn't count. Seven. Uh, so five. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be kind. Four hits you. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you watching. <laughs> like, Only four misses. <laughs> um, I need more. These things hit pretty hard, though. Yeah. And well, these these are digiton missiles that you. They did this, are right? indeed. These destroy buildings. They, they I do. understand that. I don't have a choice at the moment. Uh. So what don't is you your? Don't smile about it too much. All right. So hang on. We'll we'll. All right. So. Uh, yeah. So that is going to be one is a three is an arm, correct? Uh, correct. One arm, the same arm, the head, okay, uh, and the leg. So okay. it's four. Okay. Two in the same arm, one in the head. You one said in the four because four is another four. arm. No, I mean four total oh, shots. Oh, 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 oh. So, so two, two, two in, arm, two in the arm, one in the head, one in the leg. Okay. Uh, what is the threshold on your head? Forty-two. Uh, it does forty-five. So three to the threshold to your head. Uh, what is the threshold on your arm? Uh, on my arm, it is, uh, that's SI, sorry, 17. Okay, so each one is going to do, uh, sorry, I'm doing math, y'all. Uh, like mm -hmm. nine. No, this is chick stick scars. Good. If you live through this, you're going to have a story for the Aridani <laughs> at the bar. In my defense, the arm does have quite a bit of absorption. And so the first one is yeah, 28 to the absorption. Tw okay, hold on. Let me write this down. 28? So it's going to be twice. It'll be 28 and 28 because in the same arm. Okay, so that's uh, 56. 56. Yeah. So uh, okay. my absorption on my arm is 104. Okay. Uh, right. And then the head. Uh, yep. You, you're, you're rolling that one still. Uh, the head was uh, 45 was the damage. So only three got through. Uh, my absorption on my head is 30. And your leg, the armor was ruined. So that is, you're in flavor country there. Yep. How much absorption was left there? So you had done, um, where's my leg? There's my leg. So you had done, um, no, it, w it went through my absorption. It's gone. It's gone. It completely mm -hmm. ate it. Yeah, right. it's gone, gone. So my right. leg's taken all of it. So forty. <laughs> so you're boom, 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 boom. Pow! His leg is blown off completely for 45 points of damage. And how many body points have you got? Uh, Not 45. <laughs> well, body points plus death door. No, not 45. <laughs> yeah. And Tark falls to the ground. As the creature boom, 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 and drops over, also. Uh, okay, most of his body's still intact, so she's gonna. When that goes down, she's gonna run over and she's gonna hit him with the uh, necromal injection. You see him laying there, and what what was your total for your uh, for your body points in your death store? Uh, forty five. It was forty five. Yeah. Oh, uh, forty five is what you took. Yeah. Okay, so he is relatively intact, actually. Okay. And you pull, like, there's holes all in him as he's, like, laying there on the ground. And you hit him with a necromal injection. Agony. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. I'm, not, I'm doing everything in my power not to scream. No, fuck it. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's going to also uh, take out the uh, the laser sword, the plasma sword. Uh, does that do, like, cauterization? Oh, his leg's, like, gone, gone. Like, yeah, my leg's gone. No, and, gone. And don't worry about so bleeding. Like I just don't bleed. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. okay. So yeah. you're, you're fine with it. She'll be like, okay, um, I know you're in pain. Is there anything else I can get you here? And she hands him a flask of, uh, <laughs> of uh, the whatever whiskey she's got. Weirdly enough, it's gone all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Over the comms, you hear emergency evacuation, emergency evacuation. Activate your signal boosters. We've got to get you all out of there. The planet is lost. Repeat, the planet is lost. All right, how do we get out of here, guys? I gotta go find Hoss first. Yeah, yeah, that's probably wise. Uh, can you walk, talk, buddy? And not at all. Help <laughs> <laughs> yeah. help me. It's, you guys... You all have been through a lot. You I'll never seen anything thing, like this. Know. Like, you know he was gone. Herman, come on. Come on. How we, how we, we going to get him? Move. We have to move. Are, uh, you, are you strong? I'm not. You all hear that. No. Uh, again. Thumper, Thumper, you got any, you got any way to come uh, not, help us we get don't have. We don't have a vehicle. We don't have. All right, incoming. <laughs> Okay. Uh, activate emo- emergency signal boosters. Activate emergency signal boosters. Uh, yeah. She has a. She's got a, a, a um, transmitter and a as, as well. Mm-hmm. Is there mm-hmm. any way that she can mm-hmm. use that to? Mm-hmm. 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 You turn it on. Yeah. You hear? Pop! 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 I got Uncle Jose. Let's get clear, folks. Junior's got Hoss. Nothing. <laughs> And appear on the bridge of the ship (laughs) and collapse. Down on the surface, you see as you can see on the side of the ship, heavy cannons. Boom, boom, boom. And Knowlton comes walking in and he looks over at you, Tark, and he's like, at ease, soldier. And that is a good place for us to stop. (laughs) Well, shit. (laughs) Gonna start loading up cybernetic legs now. (laughs) So, I just want to say one thing. It so happened that she rolled on a table where she had one of those to bring back a dead person. Or it would have been a wreck. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the well, and you mentioned it at the first of the episode, no. which I didn't. E- it didn't even click to me because you were like, you held it out, out like just to yep. stab yourself, just in case. In case we crash land. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse like, me. Ah, ah, you die. I can't die. Did when me. glitch says you die, and not before. <laughs> oh, Damn. yeah. Uh, so yeah, hey, that was episode two of Bad Lords. That was an arachnid, just one. Cool, cool, cool. It's There's not gonna them. be any more. Next I hate them. I hate right? them all. I hate we them. We destroyed the, the whole planet, so they're gone. Right. right. That's it. There's yeah. no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. It did of course. end in flames. <laughs> I think we got them all. Next episode's a shopping episode. episode. No, they're <laughs> 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 It's the only way to be yeah, sure. Two, shopping. Yeah, two part shopping episode. Yeah, shopping and then like a beach episode. They better shop before the episode. Yeah, need to resort. You're gonna want to shop before the episode. No, you all definitely learned a lot about. What you're really up against out there. So, uh, real quick, <laughs> let's, let's tell everybody uh, who you are, where they can find you. Uh, my name's Jake. Uh, I am one of the co-founders of Q Times. So, the stuff, the everything you see on this channel, I help uh, put together in some form or fashion. I'm also on a show uh, called Game Gorgon, which is an educational uh, YouTube series where we talk about uh, different tabletop games. Uh, we're gonna have Dave on hopefully before th- this comes out. So, uh, check Maybe out. Saw it. I was awesome. Check Game Gorgon out for <laughs> for to learn more about Battle Lords. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's that's all the things I do. Oh. Uh-huh. Hello, I'm D'Artagnan Mataliano, and I, uh, you can find me at D'Amataliano at all the socials. I am an actor and singer, and I like to uh, have nerdy times with my friends. You can find me on these shows, and then maybe you'll see me in other places. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm uh, Alcon Gersh, uh, Different Elves on Twitch and Twitter. You can check out my channel to watch some of the games I've run, or you can see me with folks on, on this channel or other channels like Hyper HyperRPG, uh, guesting in other shows. Uh, yeah, we'll see you uh, for the finale. <laughs> yeah, well, we got, we got two more. We got the, two more. The shopping finale. Shopping finale. <laughs> yeah. shopping finale. I'm, I'm seeing that the the finale is a, a two part 
the, the, mega episode. Shopping yes. then hot springs. They're shopping then hot springs. <laughs> you gotta have the hot springs. Yes. Sure. Uh, also, uh, by now, you can catch us Sundays on Vampire the Masquerade uh, Long Beach by night. You can see us there saying words, and maybe we'll have announced some other things by the time you see this, because, spoiler alert, we're talking to you from the very recent past. Uh, B. Day Walters, find me, or were, uh, by <laughs> now. LA by night, uh, Friday nights, 8 o'clock. You should check it out. We do vampire stuff there, too, so you can have, like, a whole vampire weekend, really. Mm. Which, if that is not a band name, yeah. I hear they're playing at the Troop. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, I am Melee Damage. Um, I play Lula on Long Beach by Night here on Key Times uh, on Sundays. Um, I also am a musician, actress, I do cosplay stuff, uh, just all the things. Um, I have a Twitch channel, a Patreon, everything is forward slash Melee Damage, which is M-A-Y-L-E-I-G-H, Damage. Uh, and yeah. My favorite thing about the missile thing is it works exactly once. Like you shoot them all. Mm-hmm. You're like, this is it, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes, last but certainly not least, Bromigo. I am Sam DeLev. You can find me on Twitter at Tchaikovsky, C-H-A-I-K-O-V-S-K-Y. Catch me here on Mondays for Clear Skies, the Star Trek Adventures RPG that we do with Eric Campbell and the Stream Punks. That's Mondays at 6.30 PST. Uh, You'll also catch me coming soon with LFM for Veiled Alliance, the Dark Sun 5e uh, homebrew. I'm very excited for that, so please follow my Twitter for more details. Uh, And you can catch me as Reese on Long Beach by Night, that's where I take lots of melee damage and bad decisions. <laughs> yeah, um, but also on Sundays, you can catch me on New Pantheon from 5 to 8 p.m. PST, uh, which is the demigods game where I play Bells, uh, the child of Aphrodite, and pretty much opposite of my Sunday afternoon. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we are going to have a two-part finale. Episode three and four will be fun. I'm fine. Oh right, yeah, three weeks old. And, uh, and, and somebody's gonna have like a machine gun leg. Like, yeah, I gotta you know? figure that out now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, again, You're shout, welcome. Shout out to <laughs> I don't know. Do you get credit though? Because yes, you brought him back, but also you killed him. <laughs> the... And I will probably be the surgeon attaching his machine gun leg. So <laughs> that, you're welcome. It's the circle of life. You are in full service like that. That is true. All right, we will see y'all next time. Bye.